Okay. Host. I'm not last stream. I got a host. Got here, got here. Man, someone needs to. <laughs> dying. Someone needs to take away Fire Emblem Three Houses from me. Yeah, I noticed that's what you, every time I turn on my my switch, I just see one friend online. Be dog. Huh. Liter literally, how from the day that I bought three houses to today, I have seen my friends log in and sign off playing Fire Emblem Three Houses. I've played like ten hours almost every day. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, pretty good. Playing a ton of it myself. Like, oh my god, I'm almost at 40 hours. <laughs> and I've only had it for three days, not counting today. <laughs> it's very good. No oh, other no. Fire Emblem has entertained me like this one. Yeah. So, it's... It's pretty damn good. It is yeah. very damn good. It's definitely my preference of a Fire Emblem game, for sure. Let's see. There's the good old host. There we are. Except. All these noises. Oh yeah, I still didn't pick my zombie thing. Dang. Oh well, whatever. I'll do that in a bit. Let's see. Got this, got that. Uh, is everyone pretty much ready? I am pretty much all set. Okay. What are ready. Yeah, okay. <laughs> our number yeah, one. Yeah, have you? Yeah, our number one Moto fans ready. are already here too. Uh oh. What's up? Oh, your fans are already here too. He's ready. Nice. <laughs> okay. All cool. right. Uh. All right. I I wrote this in. Uh, last time I said I wrote it in ten minutes. This one I yeah. wrote in like five. So let's Ooh. go. We're gonna get a record. You're gonna. <laughs> this one I wrote in about 30 in seconds. Like, okay, guys, let's go. <laughs> ep ep episode like 23. I'm just gonna be like, you know what? I didn't even write one this time. I'm just gonna wing it. <laughs> Barnaby <laughs> died. <laughs> wait, why did I die? <laughs> <laughs> so wait, who did we take bets on who's gonna die first? <laughs> death pool. Are we gonna take bets on who's gonna die first? <laughs> Yeah, good old death pool. Hmm, old if death I pool. had to guess who's gonna die first, I want to say either Varus or Aqua. Hey, I was gonna say, know? it's most likely between me and Aqua. <laughs> it's just a matter of how the dice I am a really close third, I think, though. Oh, God. Watch, guys, it's gonna be me who dies first. <laughs> it's gonna the, be... The who has the least <laughs> chance of dying is probably Stoke. I don't know why, but I feel like it's Stow. And there's there. All mm -hmm. right. Okay. So let's <clears throat> yeah. Let's just get ready to rumble and see what I wrote. <clears throat> Last time on Bad Ventures, tired and backed into a corner, the party was faced with an ultimatum: to rid the cave of a menacing black creature or face their imminent demise by the goblin attack force. With Motoyasu down and the party's resources depleted, they decided to face the creature on the condition they receive ample rest, which the goblin boss Hark agreed to, on the condition of Moto facing the creature first. Moto, headstrong about the news of the upcoming battle, decided to face the goblin horde instead of dragging the rest, uh, while dragging the rest of the party along with this plan. Somehow, the party was able to best the boss Hark while gaining a new ally in the form of goblins, including their new timid leader, Archie. The party went back to the village only to be met with an interesting sight. So, what will the party do next? <laughs> yeah, five minutes of writing. Almost got there. C confusion at the village. Yeah, that, that's what I'll name this one. Confusion at the village. Uh, let's get that music. <laughs> I think my favorite thing was as you were reading that, just over in Suki's Discord in the Smash section, I just see Mega Man go, he should be arrested. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So, uh, just a refresher. You guys finally came back to the village. You have a bunch of goblins with you. 
uh, still kind of just chilling with you. Um, you come back, there's a bunch of dead orcs on the floor, and then uh, Kif. <laughs> Good old bandit Kif over there. Um, <laughs> I Ken walk has... by him, I pat him on the back, say, Good job, <laughs> Kif, and I continue on. Hey, the, the, the bridge is up. Oh. So. Lower the bridge! <laughs> <laughs> Moto just walks think. straight into the water. But yeah, um, so as soon as you pat him on the back, he's like, <laughs> I was just checking the bodies. Oh. That's a so wait, you didn't kill any of these guys? Uh, the the one really right next to me. And then uh, uh, well, as soon as he says, uh, as soon as he says the one right next to him, Zulkin's like, yeah, he did really cool. Just because like he was on the floor and all, and it was pretending to be dead. And then it chased them everywhere. Like It was really funny. <laughs> I just start laughing. I'm laughing in in real life and in the game. I think to myself, why do I get the strange feeling of deja vu? <laughs> We've been to this place before. All right. but, um... No, I mean more in terms of how he fought the orc. <laughs> so, so the goblins are going to start coming around the tree. And there'll be um, Kella is going to be like, Hey, what are those things doing with you? Hold your fire there with us. There are new allies. She's gonna, I didn't like, agree on this. She, she's going to keep her like uh, crossbow trained on them and be like, if if you say so, but... Hmm. Okay. Zulkin, put down the bridge. So, we're going to start lowering down the bridge. Uh, and it should be down by now. Okay. Woo! Yeah, let's go. All right. You so know let's what? meet up with the rest Woo! of the, uh... <laughs> Wait a minute. I, I, where Moto, I was about to say where Moto placed himself. I was like, oh, uh, he's just going right for it. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, with all, as soon as you guys walk in, you guys just notice the villagers are just kind of congregated around. They're still trying to, like, figure out what's all going on, what's uh, what's all broken and everything. And then the uh, the main dude that you guys talked to originally came by. He's like, oh, you guys are back safe. How's Olgar and, and Daphne? Daphne made it. Olgar and Olgar did it. Yeah. Uh, Daphne's gonna come up as soon as uh, as soon as she mentions. She's like, oh, Morak, Morak, I'm glad you're safe too. Uh, but Olgar, they, the goblins, they, they. She's gonna start crying a little bit, and he's gonna cry on his shoulder. Uh, while as soon as she says the goblins, <laughs> oh, uh, Stow, I want to just stand in front of the goblins just for a moment, just until we can explain the situation. Uh, Mor Morak's gonna look up and he's gonna see the goblins coming, and it's like, what goblins? Uh, uh, hang on, no, we can explain. Okay. I hold wait. my hand and I go, wait, wait. Daphne. I can explain. Wait, I can explain too. <laughs> No, Aqua, you shut up. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> These people are my friends. I know they'll trust me, right? We've convinced them to work for us. Which, um, in turn, I like that will right you with out. a question mark. Um, uh, she's gonna, he's gonna look at you, uh, Kikoro, because he's just like, yeah, I, I trust, I trust Lady Kikoro, and, but this is, are, are you yeah. sure, Lady, they're not gonna, psst, betray you or anything uh, those things I'm were not... mongrels when we were captured i know but a lot of things happened apparently these goblins were being murdered and being used by some other by a, a, another goblin their leader so to and speak they, and they actually helped us kill that leader and they need a place to live and i think they're really innocent and i think they're really nice and i think they can help out this place too uh, one's gonna sneeze really loud and scare uh, scare one of the guards. <laughs> it's like, oh! It'll be. Whoa! Hang on, it's easy now. Easy, guys. Easy. It's okay. <laughs> Just the <a> sneeze. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna look, and uh, the goblins are gonna come up, and they're, gonna, they're just gonna be like, uh, friend, friendly, friendly, and they're just all holding up their arms, and they're following Archie along. And this is Archie, and. He's now he, their new leader because we yeah, have him killed their him old one. Leader. <laughs> old yellow. I may style. have had a hand in that. <laughs> I, I sit here. I look at. Uh, I look at David. I go, dirty liar. 
<laughs> I was the one helping him hold up the gun! I'm sitting, we made him I'm sitting here like, I may have helped him. I'm sitting here like, yeah, but he wouldn't be dead if it wasn't for me. Ah, uh, Mardok, I, as you can see, my party's really tired and they're just arguing. How do you guys all settling in now? Uh, lady, we, we're just assessing the damage. There's a lot that needs to be fixed. There definitely I is. And uh, I knew, I, I knew they didn't get, just get lost, but I can tell that there's some of our villagers down under those rocks too. I know, it's still, still been, it's gonna be a tough ride, but I know if we can fix this place, I, we can, our lives will be a lot better. Uh, you, you're right, lady. Uh, what are you guys planning on doing now? Well, after we defeated the goblin, the, the, we need a long rest because we're, we're some I, of us almost I, died. I, I can tell you guys are you guys are very <laughs> tired. If anything, please please use my in. However you see fit, just please. Uh, I'm gonna try to fix it up as best as I can again. If you wish, for the time being, we could also help out. Oh, that that would be perfect, honestly. And also, uh, Zolkin and Kella here. Oh, they're such great help. Kella, I was I was confused. She was still here. I knew she was a traveling monk, but I didn't expect her to be so fiery. She's uh, she's quite a uh, able person. Indeed. Speak. Yeah. I you, agree. While you guys are talking about that, I'm like, I heard my name. <laughs> we were just talking about how good of a worker you are. Yeah, how a good person you are. Damn yeah, straight. Yeah, telling us how good of a job you're doing. <laughs> yep. I look That's at her. I'm just, just like. <laughs> I look at her. I'm like. Damn, if only so many. <laughs> there wasn't so many men that liked her. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. can see me physically going like, damn, that would have been a catch. She's yeah, gonna, she's gonna something. like keep walking by. She's like on the field, just kind of walking by towards you guys. Kind of like eyeballs Daphne for a quick sec, and then just like walks away. Like, <laughs> you guys Whoa. got anything to eat here? <laughs> just <laughs> is Daphne still crying? Yeah, she's she's she just, still she's still kind of in tears. Did you just try to yeah. size up Daphne? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hug Daphne and I was like, Daphne, I know you know the whole story, but do you? But do you? I'm, I'm, I'm comforting her. I'm hugging her, mm -hmm. comforting her, now, and saying like, Daphne, uh, I know I need to get a good rest. Do you mind telling everyone the situation? I know they will trust you and I. Uh, uh, which which situation are you talking about? Me, like what happened? <laughs> like what's oh. going on? The goblin should be trusted. Oh, so. oh, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. I'll, I'll I'll let them know. Okay. So she's gonna she's gonna walk up towards the rest of the the uh, villagers, and she's gonna pretty much in her meek voice. She's still kind of crying, like with a little bit of that raspy like tone in her voice. She's just like, don't 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 fear. These goblins are friends. Uh, every, you can kind of hear like the town buzz uh, bustling a bit. They're just like, you can hear someone going like, "Friends, like, they took you." Like, no, no, it, the boss, their boss took me, but these ones, they, they saved me. Yes, they save us too. That's true. <sighs> they they all had their part. Okay. So they're gonna they're gonna be a little bit suspicious of the goblins, but they'll they'll believe you guys since you're the ones who saved them. Okay, because I was going to say, like, don't worry, the goblins are with us, we're responsible for them, so they'll stick with us at all in, times, in the, so you don't have to worry about them running amok. Okay. In the meantime, the goblin can stay in the uh, stable next to my horses and my donkey and camel. <laughs> Archie's going to, like, jump on top of your shoulder be like, I like donkey. Oh! <laughs> I have a donkey just for you, Archie. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my brain turned off there. What? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, uh, uh, Morak, uh, you know his name, uh, Kikara. Uh, he's gonna yes. just tell you guys, like, alright, um, if anything, let's just, let's just have some good rest right now. It's almost nighttime. Sounds good to me. 
Okay, so all the, all the uh, villagers are gonna kind of disperse into their own little like areas. I'm going to the uh, stable with Archie with all, with the rest of the goblin. I want the rest of the goblin to follow me to go to the stable. Okay. So all the goblins will follow you towards that stable okay. once I move everyone, and they're not all crowding everywhere. Um. I'm gonna ask the innkeeper. Um, okay, so where where can we get started on the uh, on the damages to your inn? Um, so uh, there's a lot of debris, and obviously you guys did see that there's a huge uh, hole in the side of it. Yeah. It's going to be a little drafty in there for a while, but if we can get that wall repaired first, that'd be perfect. Alright. Perhaps I will get started on uh, clearing up the debris. Okay. I was going to have the, ask the goblins if they wanted to help. <laughs> no, nah, nah, they're following Kikaru at this point. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. They're at Kikaru's beck and call, not ours. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you can convince them, but you, you, you have to come to me. I don't know anything at the moment. I'm just leading them to this place. Oh, and then, um, what do you call it? As soon as you, um, as soon as you guys are all dispersing and everything, uh, Alara is gonna come up to Moto and be like, I, I, "I'm, I'm, I'm so glad you're safe." And she's gonna <laughs> walk away. <laughs> Daphne's gonna kind of like look at her too. <laughs> it's like, hey. What are you eyeballing? <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna walk up to Moto, just lean over and whisper into his ear. She wants the Moto. <laughs> she's, you actually can see that she's uh coming towards where uh, Lady Hikaru is. I'm sitting here, <laughs> sizing my options. Oh, you just wait until she's separate from Hikaru. <laughs> I'm like, we have this one, but I know she's talked to that one, but now she's going over there. Mm. Okay, so, so wait, who's come next to me? Is that... It's Alara. Alara. Yeah, yeah, you have Alara hanging out with you. Okay. Um... I guess... Hmm. And, uh, you guys hear the, uh, you guys hear the, uh, bridge go up. Oh, okay, because I was actually thinking to tell Kif to yeah. pull the bridge up. Uh, uh Kif is just gonna kind of look at you and is like, I can tell, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just make sure you do. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, um, um, so what's why Olaf next to me? I'm gonna move over here. Oh, uh, she she's just uh, she come, came up to you and she's just also telling you how much she's she was worried that you weren't coming back. Oh, I was like, okay, so am I going to conversation between her now? If, if you want to, okay. Whatever you guys are doing, honestly. Okay. And then uh, Morak's gonna start helping uh, fix up his inn. So this is gonna be around your guys's like during your guys's long rest. So this will oh, this will okay. this will be your guys's day essentially. So yeah, at about time the time is about like twilightish area mm -hmm. is when you guys got back. So you guys essentially have from there till the next day. Okay, so we're long in resting. long rest now. Yeah, essentially. Okay. Gotcha. So do what you guys see fit. Okay. Allah, hi. Okay, I'm not doing Allah now. Okay. Uh, hi, Lady Kikaru. I'm so glad you're safe. I know. I'm I'm pretty much, I'm pretty surprised that I haven't made it out alive, but that was <laughs> such an adventure. Yeah, I I, I I heard from some of the townspeople what's was in there, uh, and I heard uh, Moto was pretty cool in there too. Oh, uh, he was pretty damn cool. right. <laughs> but, um, a lot. I you know I one thing I noticed, but I think Moto might like Daphne as well. And remember our discussion where I was thinking that like you, know, that you and I, I haven't even talked to her yet. You, know, you and I <laughs> like go together, do some stuff. Forget about that. You know, I don't. Uh, I don't trust Moto actually. He may I, be I'd cool like... and all, but I think you should be really careful too, Laura, because he's hitting on Daphne, and I think he might just leave you behind and just go for Daphne. So I... <laughs> um, I'd like to. I'd like to roll to see if I if to eavesdrop on this whole thing. <laughs> sure. Just, I, just, just I do have a perception a... check. They're kind of outside the stables. <laughs> yeah. You observe it. Well, well if, I... you have, if you have observant, then you just know. Yeah. yeah if you're I, looking uh, at them, you just know. Okay, then yes. Yeah. You, you, can, you can pretty I, much I tell was going to mention that I have, uh, thanks to leveling up, I got the feet observant. Ah, uh, okay. Perfect. Then, yeah. Sorry, I should have mentioned that sooner. 
Yeah, okay. Then, yeah, you, um, you can pretty much tell what the conversation's about. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but, um, how do you feel what I have to say a lot? Uh, I'm... Honestly, I, I'm just at your beck and call, but... Uh, I... I... He's kind of cute. I mean, Ooh. you can still go after him, to be honest. I said go for it, but if you ever hurt your feeling, and don't take it too seriously, you know, just... Uh, I'm sure you have to, you have to be somebody else. Yeah, uh, I'll, 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 I'll figure it out, then she's gonna slowly, like, Wait, 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 Alara, come back, come back! <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> Okay, you guys are now in the middle of the, uh, square. No, 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 oh, come on. <laughs> She, she's blushing really profusely. Wait, Allah, I need you to do me a favor. I have... I Because the town people... It's for the townspeople. Uh, <laughs> so yes. Yeah. Oh. Can you go into my room and get the lyre for me? The instrument lyre? Uh... Yeah. I want to play... I, I want to play a song for the for the whole townspeople. And the songs that I want to play with them, I'm sure it will soothe and calm the whole villagers and then i'm sure it would just be better for everybody okay uh, okay yeah uh you kept it in lady nando's room uh yes yes uh, okay uh, i'll okay. I'll, I'll, I'll go grab it okay She's, and you'll see her uh, head towards the uh okay spot okay i'm going back to my goblins and, uh, and why is daphne next to me she's following you she's uh she's your lady in waiting she's literally oh. like your servant oh okay oh oh okay does Daphne have the conversation as well, dude? <laughs> uh, she she was more helping the uh, goblins kind of attend oh, to the okay. horses and the uh, okay, donkeys. Okay. I went back. Okay. So does anybody else want to do their part? Why do I just continue on? Because I don't want to do something with the goblins. So, and, and Daphne is there too. So, all right. I'd. But anybody want to do something? Cause that that's about like a yeah. minute too. Uh, so uh, yeah, dude. after hearing that conversation, I'm gonna go find Moto. Okay. What did I just miss? <laughs> <laughs> what did I just miss? <laughs> I'm asking myself the same question. I'm chilling over here. All right. Me, so the the Varus and Moto me. show. Hey ah. Moto, what's up? What's up, Varus? Looks so, uh, confused. I uh, uh, heard a conversation. Between uh, Aqua and Alara, I immediately start talking to him in uh, Elf. What? <laughs> what? No one can understand. <laughs> what did you hear? Well, I respond back in the same language. Uh, she uh, thinks you're pretty cute. Nice. And um, Aqua just uh, sent her to the little fortress place to respond retrieve something alone <laughs> that's all you had to say buddy <laughs> we'll get him. We'll get him, tiger. Immediately off. um one of the what girls that you were actually off? one of the other villager girls that you were talking to just suddenly goes what the <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh important business so i'll be back it's uh important business and uh to cover for moto i take his place and help them get prepared yeah okay. so what's john gonna do or andrew and no i wanted to give moto i wanted <laughs> moto to not be cucked for one second <laughs> all right uh barnaby david stowe uh what are you guys doing with the uh in So you guys are pretty much just helping out, uh, fix up yeah, a, like a makeshift just for the wall. moment. Yeah, right. helping out where we can, and then probably just resting afterwards. Okay. Yeah. Um, while you guys are like uh, helping Mor Morak, uh, uh, pretty much fix up that wall and everything, is like, uh, it, it, it's such a shame we've lost so many good villagers. Uh, even, even my neighbor, she was such a nice person. I. I know this is probably an inappropriate question. Uh, no, do do ask, do ask. Uh, did she live next to the uh, close by to the inn? Yeah. Was she like 
and like lean over and look at the stable and that that house that's crushed. She lived there. He'll kind of like look a little downtrodden and be like, "Yeah, uh, she I, she always helped bake things. I never had to pay her, but she was such a nice person." I'm sorry to hear that. It sucks. She had she had no family here, so she pretty much treated everyone at the end like family. I'm sure I'm sure uh, Samil will be sorely missed. Samil. Um, <sighs> she did always she did always talk about about her brother. So her, her brother. brother. Yeah. Uh, I feel like that's the only family she had. Uh, hey, um, after you guys are done resting, and uh, if anything, uh, if you guys aren't really doing much, can you please, uh, it might be a little bit of a trek, but she always talked about her brother in Bryn Shander. His name Mark was Markham, and he's he's the sheriff over there. Uh, it would it would honestly give me some good ease if you... Some closure, if we pass along the message. Yeah. Yes. Ah, we can do that. Uh, yes. Oh, thank you so much. I... You guys are way too kind. Do we have a name for this brother? Yeah, uh, Markham. Markham, uh, that's right. <laughs> yep, sorry. So, so and, uh, just knowing from just basic geography for you guys, uh, Bryn Shander is very far away. Like towards the north. If we ever get to it, we'll, we'll go there. Yeah. We'll nearby it. Okay. So, well, anything else you want um, to do? I was gonna say, in the middle of this, I'm I'm gonna say to him, I take I'm gonna take a break, and I'm gonna head over and check in with the with with my uh, criminal buddies that I have hired. Okay. Uh, Barnaby, uh, Stowe, anything you guys are doing? Uh, I'll continue to help to see where help is needed. Okay, <laughs> so you guys are just gonna keep helping with the uh, fixtures and everything. All right, There's David. something terrifying about seeing where Alara is and where Moto is on the map. <laughs> <laughs> She's all alone. All alone, dead I'm center. I'm gonna turn this myself off the mic. Moto's gonna, waiting. Gonna look good. Pulling back my hair, I'm like, ah, I gotta get ready for this. <laughs> this session is cursed. Heck, even John's total views is six 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 right now. <laughs> yes, perfect. <laughs> the perfect session. <laughs> All right. Uh, so Anything David. Happen now, John. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, David's going to uh, his bandit buddies. And they're they're kind of just uh, shacking up in like this house. Um, what do you call it? There's a huge hole in this one, but Kellis still won't let Zolkin in. He's <laughs> uh, like, you can find another house somewhere. Stop following me. I take it things are going well. Yeah, don't. Uh, yeah, he, he's gonna just like turn back at you. And be like, yeah, uh, uh, this is usually how it goes. Even when we had our huge group of people, uh, right. uh, if if you couldn't tell, he's gonna kind of like whisper in your ears, like, I, "I have a thing for her." Yep, <laughs> I, I could summarize that pretty well. It, it, wait, is it that obvious? It's. I can pretty see, obvious. at the very least, that you have a special place in your heart for her. Agreed. Uh, and uh, Kel is gonna whether be like, or not. Yeah, Kel Sorry. yeah, Kelly's just gonna scream. I can hear you guys. There's a huge hole in this wall. <laughs> I mean, I'll yeah. help, but that don't mean <laughs> we can talk while doing it. The bandit will remember this. Yeah, the bandit Kella will remember this. It's like uh, she's gonna look at you and be like, "Okay, so, so what you want? Aren't you uh, gonna go I'm... shack up with some of your friends or what?" No, I'm just checking to see if you two are all right. Yeah, the how are you handling being under this new employment, quote unquote? Yeah, it's it, it's been pretty nice. We haven't really had to do anything for like the last day. Pretty much just sat here until all those orcs came out of nowhere. That was a little scary. Yeah, I I can bet. Yeah, um, 
pretty much like while we were just hanging out check uh, definitely not looking for loot or anything inside the village uh we <laughs> just... not that we've already found <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna cough that yeah we just suddenly heard all these giant like steps outside the the gates and we just looked on one of the watchtowers and it it's just a bunch of orcs were just trying to get in and we we started just shooting them down and everything but after a while um some elves came out of nowhere and just chased the rest of them off i see yeah that must have been those that we that we kind of saw but didn't fight you wait imagine a group like twice the size of that yeah yeah the, there was a lot more than the dead ones over here we had yeah, we had us nearly walking head first into that oh <laughs> Eh, it would have been too bad. Yeah. Well, the the elves came in afterwards and they ran off, so we just pointed them in the right direction. Thankfully, they managed to get in front of the place in time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. But that's good to hear that uh, everything is going well. Yeah, uh, pretty much other than that, that's really the only thing I guess we'll report. Um, uh, boss, I guess. I like the sound of that. <laughs> All right. Maybe I could be the big boss. Oh my god! I knew you were gonna go there. Oh my god! As soon as you say, as, as soon as you say, <laughs> yeah, as soon as you say big boss, you'd be like, uh, hey, hey guys, uh, what am I? What? What? Can I just take a break, please? <laughs> uh, sure. Uh, Kella's just gonna look at you and be like, Dang, yeah, she gave him a break. <laughs> <laughs> as funny as it would seem, I... I, yeah. I gotta give him a bone at some point. <laughs> um, Kella's gonna scream and be like, Zulkin, switch spots, I guess. Just keep watch if one of those orcs get up or something. And he's like, Ugh, fine. Did you guys loot all of it? Um, as he's walking away, uh, Kif's gonna like look at you. He's gonna do his uh, good old Kif salute. <laughs> He'd be like, uh, "Nothing on them, sir. Just uh, uh, a bunch of elf ears and some very crude made weapons." Ah, uh, nothing that we can use, perhaps. N nothing really. Noted. That's unfortunate. <laughs> that sound is like gives me anxiety, <laughs> knowing that it came from Moto's mic. <laughs> this is how he gets in through the oh door. God, Moto got closer. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> knowing this is all going on, and yeah. not knowing I can, I don't. My character doesn't know is yep. the most terrifying thing. Um, At any rate, I was the slime the whole time. My, <laughs> anything happen, John? <clears throat> um, uh, uh, well, I was going to say one last thing. At any rate, you're probably going to see more uh, more uh, people come in to work for us. Oh, that, that's fine. That's fine. Less work for me, more work for everyone else. Yeah, I'll try and recruit as many people as possible, but they'll all be heading here. Hmm, so I'll try and send as many messengers as I can to, to relay the uh, that these people are coming. That way, it's not every random person who jumps in. Hmm. To this shabby town? Perhaps. If you want my professional opinion, probably not here. Yeah, I know. I need to find a better base. If anything, you already know that us three have a target on our heads from the Zentrum. Yeah. And if we just stay here, we're pretty much sitting ducks. I know. We'll, fi well, we'll find something that we can call our home. Was there any places or anything you guys were heading to after this? Um, I, I'm gonna say the town where yeah, the, the guy what, uh, that uh, we were supposed Morissette? to meet. Yeah. Uh, Bryn Shander? Br okay. uh, we were gonna take a detour to Bryn Shander, but we're gonna figure out what happened here and what we can do for now. Okay. Uh, she's As soon as you say Bryn Shander, be like, that's so far. I like it. Uh they would never expect us to go all the way up there. 
He's like thinking <laughs> about the uh, Zentrum. The... We'll figure something out. Okay. Again. Anyways. Just make sure. I will take my leave. Yeah. Just make sure we pack warm when we go up there then. Noted. Okay. Um, she's gonna look at Kiff and be like, Kiff, get in here! Uh, yes, <laughs> ma'am. Right. I'll head back to the, the hotel and help continue helping out, but that's all I'm gonna do. I hope these two okay. are a thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I ship it. <laughs> Who knows how that will turn out. Fantastic. Alright, uh, is it now the Moto uh, Lara show? <laughs> Is it? Yeah, it's and Moto. <laughs> I can't this is, gonna, Moto. this is something I'm looking forward to because I get to watch John and Moto speak love to each other. <laughs> you don't know if that's how that works. <laughs> yeah, you can just say oh, it, it works, and I'm like, this that's fine by me. <laughs> yeah, no, that's true. But it'd be funnier with the roleplay dialogue. <laughs> Alright, so pretty much uh, Moto, this, uh, this is like a little bit before... Uh, David was having a conversation with the uh, with the bandits. You, you you pretty much roll up to the gate. Um, Alara is you can see that she went inside the building and everything, but that's all you really can tell. I'm going into the building. Okay, I'm not waiting out here. <laughs> you weren't just. I don't need witnesses. Wait. <laughs> all right, so um, I'm I'm just not, I'm not gonna switch to the other map for this. Oh no, that's fine. Yeah, don't bother. <laughs> okay. It's only a talking thing anyways. Yeah. So, uh, as soon as um as soon as you come in, um Alara's actually starting to head down the stairs with the wire. My brain like stopped for a second. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was I doing again? Oh my god, an actual girl. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, I'm alone? With a girl? <laughs> This is a purse for me. I don't. I don't know how I feel about this. So, is this a prank? Uh, as, I, I'm like looking around, like someone yeah. here, right? Yeah. So as soon as she walked down, she's kind of she's just kind of looking on the floor, minding her own business. She's just uh, making sure that she, the liar is safe and everything, and she's about to head back outside. And she stops and notices you, and she's like, "Oh, uh, hi, hi, Moto." Hi there, Lara. I heard that you were over here. I word around the bushes. <laughs> You think I'm pretty cool? Um, uh, yeah. Uh, you and your, you and the rest of you guys, uh, you guys are so brave for all of the, uh, from what I heard, ogres slaying. Yeah, ogres and goblins. Did they tell you that I took out the goblin leader all by myself? Uh, uh no. Uh, I didn't hear that at all. Uh, I didn't even know there was a goblin leader. Yeah, that's why the those goblins are following us. Oh, um, is that why they're so fervent with uh, Lady Kikaru? Ah! <laughs> I don't know about that one. She's like, that just kind of happened. I scratched my head and was like, I don't know what she wants from the goblin. Uh, she's like, Lady Kikaru has always been a f charismatic figure. We always loved when she came here. And I'm glad that she's here in our time of need. But uh, um, if, you, if you can excuse me, I I need to get going. I need to bring this liar to her. She's going to slowly start walking away. Uh, it's just weird because I don't. <laughs> she's slowly <laughs> like... walking away. I'm she's just going to let her go gate. this time. Okay. Because I'm like sitting here like. <laughs> Keyword is this time. Yeah, this time. That's. Um, Jesus Christ. She has more points in my book. <laughs> this more is, points this than is, everyone this is in the our C team. conversation. Except for Varys. Yeah, this is the C support conversation. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going in tears. I don't I, I gotta I have to size up my other relationship options <laughs> before I get to S, okay? Okay. Uh so while that's happening, can I talk to the goblins and death? Yeah, yeah. So this is this is around the time when um Alara and um Moto and top and uh, yeah. David is talking to his bandits and that. Okay. So I came in. And I was like, okay, Daphne, thanks, thanks for taking care of the goblins while they in, in the stable. Yeah, uh, of course, my lady. If uh, if you require anything else of me, it. I guess since Lady Nandar is gone, I'll I'll just follow you around if that's okay. Of course. Uh, but actually, I think I'm think just, just thinking about it. Can I ask you a favor? Uh, sure. 
Of course, anything, lady. Can you, yeah, can you gather the all villagers into the middle, the center of the town? I ask a liar to bring me a, a liar, and I'm gonna perform a small music. Okay. Just yeah. to please them. Uh, uh, I guess I'll let everyone know. It is a little bit late, though. But I, hey, I, I, yeah. It, uh, I'll I'll go around and search okay. for okay. everyone. Okay. And I got next to the goblin, and it's like, and then I'm speaking goblin now. Okay. Yeah, because I learned the goblin language. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> like, uh, yeah. We'll say uh, you're very astute, and you pretty much pulled on to their uh their uh their language really easily okay so i start talking in goblin and i was like archie and i was like Ar archie's gonna come up to you uh it's actually this one i'm gonna change this picture later don't worry oh that's good so and i, I mentioned it to the other goblins so i was like and i just want to say like in the meantime this would be a new home next to my donkey camel horse Oh, that requires my wagon. <laughs> oh, uh, that, that's fine. We don't really have any other place to go. Uh, um, can we, uh, can we, can we ride them? Of course. Actually, Archie, since you're the leader of the government, I want you to learn how to ride this donkey and be good at it. He will be your new pet. Oh, um, wh uh, wh what's its name? Dick. Dick? Donkey. Yeah, <laughs> Donkey Dick! Um, <laughs> I actually don't know, <laughs> but I just, uh, I just don't know what the Donkey Dick. Uh, I'll, I'll just, I'll just call him Donkey for right now, okay? Yeah, okay. It's okay. a little bit weird. <laughs> uh, especially, so. especially how it translates through in Goblin. You're pretty uh, much just saying a weird slur to him. Uh, don't, yeah, don't worry. In English, it's just a mere different word, but it's okay. But. Eventually, but the whole point I want to talk to you right now is eventually I may leave this town. Do you guys want to stay here or come with me? Um, Archie's gonna kind of like cling on to you a little bit, mm -hmm. but the uh, other goblins are gonna kind of look at each other. Uh, oh, I <laughs> yeah. The other the other goblins are just gonna kind of talk amongst each other and be like, we don't really have much place else to go. Oh. And Archie is just kind of ignoring the question. He's a little bit like disheartened because he's trying to figure out what he wants to do. Mm -hmm. Archie, don't forget you're the new goblin boss. So I know you like me, but they are, these are also your subordinates. So tell them what to do, and I'm sure they will follow you. But of course, if you want to follow me, you can always come with me. Uh, if if anything, uh, Kiki can. Can you help us find new home? Yeah, of course. Okay, once we find new home, then we separate. Okay. <laughs> um, that's what I want to do for now. D okay. T found home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you agreed to uh, no? help them find a new home. Yeah. Cool. That's fine. All right. Anybody else doing anything? Uh, this is gonna be a little bit after uh, Alara is gonna come up to you. It's like, here you go, my lady. Oh, thank you. I just told Daphne to gather around the villagers. I know it's late at night, but um, can you also help her gather the other remaining women villagers to the center of the town, please? Okay. Oh, and um, Alara, for yeah. the next day, once it's all done. I want to speak to you and the guards alone. Well, uh oh. But the, the next day. Okay. Uh, I'll okay. let the, I'll let them know too. Of course. Thank you. And then uh, she's gonna go off on her way. Um, this is gonna take about like 30 minutes to 40 minutes for everyone to actually get gathered around. Okay. So what everybody else want to do when that that happens? I'm I'm kind of set. I'm just waiting in the middle with my door. I'm probably gonna see the massing group of villagers and I'm gonna go. What the hell are you doing? No. <laughs> Me? To me? Yeah. <laughs> How do you know about this? Oh, well, well, everyone, I can everyone's... see the villagers <laughs> massing! Oh, uh, I'm gonna play uh, just a small performance of music, and oh, this, hopefully this, my this performance, good. Hopefully <laughs> performance will still the whole I'm gonna walk. <laughs> I'm gonna walk away once you're done. Okay, you might enjoy my music, to be honest. Don't worry, I can help. I can play the bongos. Can you? Can you really? 
I can. <laughs> <laughs> would, you Dude, like, would you like Donkey to help Konga. with that performance? I have, I have proficiency in bongos. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, once you see me, you, you can talk to me, Andrew, but right now, oh, I don't know where right, you are. So, everyone's not <laughs> gathered yet, but they're slowly starting to gather up. So this is a perfect time if you want to. Yeah. Uh, you guys wanna, do you guys want to get that clarified if you guys are going to actually help yeah. each other perform? I'm just going to be in earshot. But Bonnaby has to come to me, so. Andrew, you got to come to me and talk to me. Because I don't know anything. I'm... Andrew, to me. <laughs> Andrew, to me. Oh, I don't mean to be. Do you want to perform together with me? Uh, what is my stat for that? Uh, Who knows? Better be good. You bad. You out. It's only gonna be. <laughs> Three? Yeah. Up to you. I don't know. It's not gonna be great. Oh. All right. So, I better go alone. <laughs> everyone's gonna start gathering around okay. about this time. Okay. Uh, you just hear the chatter and everything. Everyone's just kind of talking uh, pretty loudly amongst each other. And if, from what you can tell from uh, just how you can perceive it, everyone's, uh, everyone's here. Okay, everyone's. Okay. Hi, everyone. Thanks for all showing up here. Um, as soon as you're saying that, no one's hearing you because everyone's still talking. Okay, I start playing my music, uh, just slowly, like, uh, just making noise out of it, like, loud noise. Oh, just, like, are, you, are you just, like, banging it on, like, the rock <laughs> no, next no, to you? No, no, just, like, cause, just, like, stringing it, just to get the tension, like a bell, like, stringing it. Um, do a performance check to okay. see if anyone can hear that. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah. Oh god. Wow. So, um, it, it's... You can. This is how it goes. The uh, the crowd is just super loud. They're just talking amongst each other, just trying to size up the situation. And then all of a sudden, they just hear the very very nice quiet like tone coming from the yeah. from a oh. liar. Yeah. And it's just starts quieting down, like okay. really 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 quiet. Eventually, okay. you can not hear anyone like talk, and then your music is just gonna keep going through. Okay. Wait. But I'm not actually playing the music yet. Am yeah. I? Okay. Yeah, you, you okay. can just you can just um, pretty much see you're doing the first couple chords. Yeah, first couple chords. Yeah. Okay. And now, do, do they all have attention on me? Yep. Everyone's pretty okay. much straight on attention on you. Cool, cool. Um, hi everyone. Thanks for coming up so late. I know we're all tired. Uh, we lost many people, many friends, neighbors, lady. Wait, do, oh, do they know? Uh, yeah. The, by this time, they already know. Oh, oh, well, okay. if and anything, a good majority of them know, but not all of them. Okay. And I'm, I know before you guys got here, I told one of the guards to spread the message. I know we all miss Lady Nandar. And I just want to give you guys a small performance to everyone here to to help for the future. For the for night, uh, the town. You, you can you can kind of you can kind of see the town slowly starting to tear up because they really loved Lady, Lady Nandra. Okay, and um, to everyone we lost, to Lady Nandra, this is my performance. And then here I go. And, I, and I, I'm still new, I'm still a bit new, but hopefully I can still perform well. You guys. Okay. okay so another performance. Okay, uh, one one. Can What's I do that? a guidance on me? Is that possible? Does that uh, help? I think that isn't guidance only on another person. No, it's anyone he touches. So including himself. Touching myself. With guidance. Guidance. Can you do that? I did. Can I? I mean, sure. We can. We we'll, we'll go with the yes. So it makes my check better, right? And you touch one willing creature once before the spell ends. Yeah. You can. Yeah, you can add a d4 to your ability check. Okay. And, and then, then um, do... Barnaby, you're helping out, right? Uh, yeah, I'll help. Okay. And I also have Bonnaby, who's also one of my ventures. He's gonna help us. Help oh, can I put guidance on him, too? <laughs> uh, if I'm assisting you, you'll get a fancy jump check. Okay. Mm. Okay, so I click on the performance check? Sure. With advantage. With advantage. Uh, okay. Oh, sh <laughs> Oh my god, oh, double yeah. fours. Oh my well, roll god. that d4. Yeah, roll that d4. 
was d4? Wait, just a d4. Just a dice d4. Yep, just a dice d4. Is this four here? This four? Uh, no. Like oh wait, you know what else we forgot? Varus. Oh, he yeah, did, boy, he did the long rest, so doesn't that mean he gets his dice back thing? I don't even want to help. Okay. That's, That's huh? true. For what? What's going on? Sorry, I zoned out for like Oh, so what do you want for, right? Not four. Yeah. You got a good old 11. Good old 11. Oh. Not good at that, or bad. So, um... It's below average. But, yeah, it's pretty average. Uh, but from how it's going... You're kind of playing like a very familiar song to a lot of people, mm -hmm. and um, Barnaby's a little, kind of stumbling through it a bit. He's trying to get the rhythm, <laughs> oh, that, God. and then uh, it's kind of throwing you off a tiny bit. Uh -huh. But everyone feels like it's uh, it's pretty sincere, uh -huh. so everyone just starts tearing up a bit, and some of them are outright just crying and holding on <laughs> to each other now. Okay. <laughs> Not yeah. much of a celebration, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I've heard better. No, wait, it's not a celebration, okay? <laughs> this is just, just like a, a gathering, just like a relaxed moment, just to, you know. Uh, yes. Hold it I do on. like to just cry to relax. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, do I finish? Or... Yeah, yeah, if you if you want to finish with the song. Yeah. Yeah, I finish the song. Okay. That, I don't know that. Yeah. A couple minutes. Okay. And. As I finish, I was just like, I know that wasn't the best performance, but I hope I can, I hope I relax all you guys and yeah, you hear how much I hear. Yeah, you hear um some silent clapping from everyone, and everyone just kind of starts to drift away a little, little by little, unless you're trying to say something else. Oh no! And I was like, and I almost like a last speech. I was like. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow is a whole new day. Let's all fix this town, and let's all be better. Okay. Um, some of them are just gonna be like, uh, gonna walk up to you. Some of them are crying. A lot of them are very familiar villagers to you. Like, thank you, Lady Hikaru. Of course. That's all hugging. Each yeah, one they're, of them. they're just all hugging you and walking. Okay. Some of them are just getting back to what they were doing. Okay. And good night, guys. Sweet dream. Uh, sweet, sweet well. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk over to to Moto and go. What happened? <laughs> there was a bunch of people crying. I was kind of just working away. I think that that noble made everyone cry. Oh, what a dick! I know, right? Because they haven't been through enough already. We're, I'm speaking it. We're definitely speaking it out. <laughs> yeah, I'm speaking it out. <laughs> Should have said that first. <laughs> well, we said it now, so you don't get to respond. <laughs> no, I didn't hear any of that. So, okay. You're not uh... half bad, bears. <laughs> you know, Moto. I think you and I will eventually get along. The start of a beautiful friendship, indeed. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, while that dialogue is going on, um, Aqua, before you leave, yeah. Uh, everyone, as everyone is dispersing. Uh, Morak's gonna the innkeeper that you that was the one talking to you guys in the cave is gonna come up to you and be like Thank you so much for that speech my lady um, Of course yeah <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> What <laughs> <laughs> He's just moving square by square uh, Lady Kikuru uh, I'm I am wondering though what what brought you, <laughs> especially without your family? I'm looking for a friend. Um, his name is Sky. And he, he's gonna he's gonna stop you right there and be like, "Oh, oh, Sky! Uh, of course, he's such a nice lad. Such a nice lad. He always comes in, helps around the kitchen, helps around everywhere. Uh, yeah, uh, he he left a little while ago. Uh, thank goodness too. Uh, or else, you know, you know how headstrong that boy can be. He probably would have tried to fight those ogres himself. Yeah. Wait, um, where did he go? Yeah, he he left to Brinshander a little while ago. I don't know why. Okay, Brinshander. I I think that will be my next des des destination, and oh. I'm sure you would take care of this town. But of course, we're not we're not leaving yet until this town is secure and well. I think yeah. I know I can make convince my party to go to that place. Okay. 
Yeah, uh, of, of course. Um, if you can, um, just remember, pack warm. It's cold up in the north. Of course. Thank you. Okay. And that's pretty much all he really wanted to say to you. Okay. That's it. What do I get with that perception check? Who's the prettiest out of these three with that perception check? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is that perception was, check? <laughs> what, out of what three? These <laughs> three. Oh. Um, Daphne is just like the most gorgeous out of all of them, but Alara is not too far away. Damn. <laughs> and then Kella Literally. is like, Kella is like the most like average one of the group, but she's still like battle hardened and you're kind of like, you kind of like that. Yeah, I really do. <laughs> Literally, your hottest choices both work for Kikuru. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> I walk away. <laughs> he just stood between all three of them, looked at them very intently, and then just walked away. <laughs> like, God damn it! I've learned nothing from this. <laughs> okay. all right. So, everybody go, going to bed? Yeah. Are you guys gonna uh, all head to bed now? Yeah. I'm going to my keep room that I've been hiding up there. I hide and sleep. Yeah, you're gonna go all the way to the keep. Uh, anybody else gonna do anything for the remainder of this night? Oh, uh, well, um, I, I guess uh, since we're in long rest, I'm gonna do my, uh... Divinities? Yeah, I'm gonna do my, uh, portent rolls. Okay. Before I would go to bed, I'm gonna find out who this teddy bear belongs to. Okay. Is a teddy bear? Yep. Yeah, we picked up a teddy bear when we were going through the town the first time, mm -hmm. uh, episode one. Yeah, oh. it's been that long. Do you have clothes on? I forgot to ask those two. He does not. <laughs> oh, oh, you're both <laughs> naked. Dude, you're pretty, you're still kind of naked-ish, but to be fair, like, they're, they're not used to dwarf culture around here. <laughs> what about elf culture? Elf culture, they're they're a little bit more hesitant about elves. They, if, um, if, uh, what do you call it, Varys noticed, uh, not, not many people are, like, really wanting to talk to him. Oh, well, that's fine. I had no intention of talking to him anyway. <laughs> yeah, but from... I only talked when I felt it was absolutely necessary. I couldn't care what these people think of me. Yeah. <laughs> but from what you can true surmise... High elf. Um, that is so true. But from what you can surmise, it has something to do with the uh, book you read inside the keep. So, I'm going... Yeah. Since I'm, d I'm done with, like, the, the wall and whatnot, done cleaning it up from, like, all the debris and everything, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to ask Moto... What's going on? Uh, everyone seems to be crying. I don't know. I think that one cleric made him cry. Huh. And his well, it couldn't gone. have been Stowe, so... <laughs> yeah. I have a sneaking suspicion as to who it is. That's all I got from it. It was Varus, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I kid, I kid. But I think I know who was it. <laughs> Earlier... Aqua was sitting there trying to gather everyone around for a performance, and we're going to put that in huge quotation marks. <laughs> oh, so that's what that very below average performance was. Yeah, I was see. Sadly below <clears throat> average. I heard some bongos, too? <laughs> some bongos? Eh, I didn't <laughs> figure she was the type. I don't know. Either it was the bongos or the, the liar. Either or. Well... What a dick for making everyone cry. I know, right? <laughs> oh, oh my god. What a dumb. 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 And yeah. Like me, you want to sleep together? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, why Why do you look so tired? Are you dancing to that music or something? Uh, he's dead. Oh. Yeah, he's oh, dead. jeez. He must have <laughs> passed out immediately after. Yeah, just, uh, just right after Barnaby just passed out. Like, my work here is done, falls asleep, everyone just kind of walks over with, him. The, with, with that teddy bear he's trying to find for other people. <laughs> that looks super weird. 
<laughs> He's just out in the middle of the field, <laughs> cuddled up to this random teddy bear. So and far, yes, if he doesn't goes. respond, that's how it's happening. <laughs> okay. Nice. Um, hmm, well, we should probably get Barnaby to an actual bed. That's dwarf culture, you shouldn't mess with me. Wait, what about me? I was... <laughs> I was asking, why are you so tired? And you just didn't respond, so we assumed that you were lying there in your boxers, cuddling a teddy bear, sleeping right after dancing. Oh, Playing on your probably bongo. get him some clothes and a bed. I'm sleeping on a bong. <laughs> uh, but in all seriousness, I wanted to see if the teddy bear actually belonged to anybody before I went to bed. Okay. So you... So is that what you're doing right now? That's what I was going to do, and then go for the long rest afterwards. Okay. Uh, Barnaby... You should probably get some clothes. <laughs> yeah, I could probably stand to change the clothes first, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Make it Perhaps go. maybe the inn will have what you need. I have a cha I have a change of clothes in the pack. Okay. Barnaby. Wait, why did you do that on the way back? <laughs> <laughs> we were kind of walking, and it was kind of, you know, the fresh breeze between the knees. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> Barnaby, we had a sh we got had the chance to rest before we fought the goblins, and you chose to stay in your boxers. <laughs> okay, I was under the impression that we were gonna fight the slime again. I didn't want to lose another set of clothes to the damn thing. That I can understand. <laughs> but and then I mean, you fought the goblins because a certain moto wouldn't uh, have to go around proclaiming things. I mean, and to then, be fair, yeah. there's a good chance we would have died regardless. Look, I'd rather... It doesn't matter what I die in. If I'm dead, I'm dead, yeah? <laughs> fair. Very fair. <laughs> well, okay. I am going to bed. I will I will go to bed as well. Okay. Uh, Barnum. Dwarf culture is a beautiful thing. <laughs> <laughs> it right. is. All right, Barnaby. Uh, uh, during your... Uh... Are, are you going to go up to anyone specific and going to talk to them, or are you just going to kind of, like, take a, about maybe around an hour to ask everyone? Uh... What time of day is it currently? It, it's getting pretty late. You can tell it's about, like, 10 or 11-ish. Yeah, okay. I think I'll do, like, half now and then half later. Yeah. Okay. So, um... From what you can surmise from talking to people, you can tell that there wasn't too many children around here. Uh, there, there was definitely some young, younger children, like younger aged pe um, kids, but they, there weren't any that you think would probably have a teddy bear. Uh, one of them did m uh, mention the uh, Nesper family, who lived right about, uh, right, actually not that, not there. If you can see where I'm pinging, right about here. Alright, oh, there it is, I see. This one? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can kind of guess it might be those, that family. Did you want to go over there or are you just going to steal their teddy yeah, bear, you monster? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize I was going to get it so quickly. Like, yeah, I'll go over there and uh, deliver the teddy bear. Okay, so, um,. Are you going to knock on the door? Are you just going to walk in and just be like, here you go? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to knock on the door. <laughs> um, so as soon as you knock on the door, um, you uh, someone opens it up, and you just see a, a kid, maybe about the age of, looks like 15. <clears throat> 15. And, she, and she can tell that she, she's like in tears, like really badly. And uh, you can kind of hear her brother behind her, like, whimpering a bit, too. She's like, who, uh, who is it, Yandra? Uh, yeah. Oh, it's uh, Barnaby. I uh, helped out in saving you guys from the goblin. But just wanted to know if this uh, teddy bear belonged to someone here. Uh, as soon as as soon as you say teddy bear, uh, the little brother comes by and, like, snatches it out of your hand and be like, It's not gone. It's not gone. Uh, saved it from the rubble. From when everything happened the first time around, she, uh, the old, the uh, younger brother is gonna like hug you like uh, uh, pretty pretty tight, but then the older sister is gonna like kind of pull him off and be like, "No, stop! That's that's rude." Uh, uh, thank uh, thank you. Was it uh, Barnaby? 
Part of me, yes. You're welcome. And, she, and they're both like just about to cry. And let me just roll this really quick. They, they're, they're, they just start bawling and crying on you. <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh, you get to play daddy for a bit. You just daddy, them cry. you monster! <laughs> <laughs> Call him a monster for keeping the teddy bear. Call him a monster for giving it back. <laughs> Damn if I do, damn if I don't. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, and you're still naked, right? <laughs> no, I actually even got my change of clothes. Okay, <laughs> okay. okay. That would have been <laughs> very scary. That would have been a very interesting sight. I could almost see the cops flying in now. <laughs> flying in? <laughs> yeah, they fly in by Wyvern. Yeah. Oh god! <laughs> In the real police. <laughs> yeah, just the police. We just hear <laughs> FBI, open up! <laughs> Alright, so are you so are you well, what are you gonna do, part of me? Yeah. Um I mean they're crying on you right now. Mm -hmm. I'll see if I can console them at least. Okay. Uh what do you want to say to them? <sighs> The part I'm gonna fuck up on, I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> <laughs> Your old dwarven bones. It's not that old. So, let's see. Oh boy. Give the dwarven one. Just oh, punch these hug. children down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> if you don't respond in about 10 seconds, that's what I'm saying you're doing. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of just pat him on the head, just like, there, there, you know. Um, they, they're gonna, they're gonna hold, they're gonna go, like, you, you're about the same... About the same height as them, honestly. So they're just kind of holding. I'm probably about like four feet tallish. Yeah, they're they're about around that tall. That tall. Very so, good. Yeah. So they're gonna they're gonna like uh hug you really really badly and be like, I can't believe they're all, they're all gone. Well, here's the dwarf in one two. We still have <laughs> here. The dwarf in one two, and then they just. Here sequentially. Oh You're up, kid. <laughs> we'll, we'll be able to rebuild for sure. It'll take some time, but I know we'll be okay. Do, does that mean they'll come back? Ah, uh, gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> That's a I gotta go moment. Oh. You want to do a perception check or actually an insight check to see what they're kind of talking about? Yeah, that would be great. Oh, nice. Okay, good. From, good. You can, from what you can tell, uh, you can kind of see Pierre inside the house a little bit too. And you've actually been inside this house kind of, you know, because you were a monster. A monster. Stuff. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Um, pretty much uh, from what you can tell, uh, this, this family used to be a family of like five. But obviously you could only, you can only see two of them now. Um, you can tell that the mom and dad are gone. And there was an older sister, too. Oh, shit. Mm. And uh, it, would it be base to assume that they are indeed dead? Yeah. So, uh, pretty much, um, you, you don't you have no remnants of them or anything, but you, you don't really know what's going on because they could have died in the uh, giant attack. They could have died any time in the cave. You can always ask the kids if you want. Give them the dwarven one, too. <laughs> Of reality. <laughs> of reality. Truth. Reality. But yeah, they they asked you that question if they're coming back. I'd say I don't know for certain, but they may still be out there. Uh, I really, I, I really hope they're they're back soon. I don't know what else to do. Well, the rest of the village will be able to take care of you guys for now. As will we for as long as we stay here. 
thank you so much. Can you, if, if it's You're welcome. If it's any anything, if, can you please stay here? Just, it's <laughs> tough. Uh, I won't be able to stay for long, but I'll at least be able to stay the night. So that's that's okay. Barnaby, I know exactly what I'm gonna say to you in the morning. <laughs> so you're gonna spend the night with the kids? I have done nothing. Sans, Sans David. All of you are so fucked up. Uh, hey, for the record, my character's a jokester, okay? So I guess we'll see what happens in the morning. Um, you don't you don't see this this is kind of out of perspective but we we just go back to to kiff um because he can kind of see what ha what's happening through the window and he just sees barnaby <laughs> like walk into the room full of kids like the kids are like holding on to him and he just walks inside the uh, house and he's like oh my <laughs> <laughs> Oh Maybe I should have done the one too. Maybe kind of avoided this whole <laughs> Just obliterated the children. <laughs> Relax, man. The worst years you're just gonna get subjected to some jokes. That's it. <laughs> Alright. Um are you gonna do anything else, Barnaby? No, that was that would have been just it. <laughs> uh this this night, uh while you're while you're resting and everything, the kids are gonna talk to you about like the family and everything. Um, they, you, they were pretty much, uh, the ones holding the pumpkin patch and everything and just kind of helping feed the town. Um, they were also a group of assassins waiting for you to fall asleep to stab you. <laughs> this is not yet. yet. <laughs> not yet. The children murdered me. Not but, um, they, told, twist. they said, um, as soon as they got into the cave, um, some of the, uh, what do you call it? Some of the, uh, goblins kind of, like, took the... Or they kind of disappear with the goblins, the family Oof. members at least. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, that's what you're. That's what you get to find out. Uh, anybody else doing anything other than catching these Z's? Yeah, other than catching uh, those Z's. Did we confirm with Stowe that he was going to sleep, or Stowe is saying? FBI. Nothing. <laughs> Still is going to be the FBI for this run. I smite thee, Barnaby. All right. So Still, Still is pretty much just going to knock out. He was too manly. Okay. So All then right. I guess. Uh, I, I guess I met. Aqua, you went to sleep. I went to the room. I don't know. Unless something, somebody's in here already. Nah, me. nah. Yeah. It's pretty much just you. And okay. I guess the guards are coming. To, are going to come too. Okay. Like. Uh, some of the main ones, just to okay. make sure that you're fine. Okay. So yeah, I guess unless there's something you wanted to do, then it's that's it. I mean, I have something to do the next day, but not today. This is just nighttime. This all right then. So yeah, then yeah. we're all asleep. Okay. Um, one thing that you, you guys do notice is that there is a sudden lack of Barnaby before you guys are like heading to sleep. Yeah. Hey, where's Barnaby? I thought he was sleeping outside. Oh. Well, no, he he woke up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm sure he'll be fine. He's not gonna leave the town. Like, just roll over and start sleeping. <laughs> okay. So yeah, he's just gonna. Your call concern it. for me is so admirable. <laughs> <laughs> it is much concern. Hey, <laughs> you're you're one of our our special fighters in that you get to uh, attack twice and you. Always mess with your act, but goddamn, you are one hell of a punk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but yeah, uh, this is, uh, I guess everyone's gonna head to bed now. Yep. Um, the bandits are gonna have to change your guard. So, Kella's gonna go up there now, and Zulkin is in here now. Making fun of Kip. Yeah. <laughs> just just at, at Kip's expense, just making fun of him still. <laughs> You don't have it as bad as Kiff does. Uh, yeah, at least you're not the Kiff of the group. Yet. Yet. <laughs> Alright, um, it's officially morning. Yay!
anyone gonna do anything? <clears throat> Time to go outside. <laughs> I'm gonna go outside and check on the bandit first thing. I'm yeah, gonna I'm... check on Olar. I'm gonna step outside and just stretch, take a deep breath. Just wake up. I'm gonna look around. <laughs> Let's see. So, who wants to do their thing first? I'm trying to get back up to the inn. Alright, alright, Barnaby. My... Uh, Damn, kids okay. are... Um, when, when you wake up, the kids are just sound asleep. They, they pretty much stayed up a long time telling you about, talking to you about their, uh, their family and everything, and they kind of passed out, like, when, while they were talking to you. There's Barnaby! Oh, hey, Barnaby! Hey, what are you doing, Barnaby? Well, I found out the, uh, owners of the teddy bear. Oh, yeah? It Where were you last night? It concerns me that you, uh, <laughs> that you stayed there all night. They wouldn't let me leave. They insisted upon me staying the night there. Oh, and that then, does uh, not change my concern. Oh, and then Barnaby, um, concern? one thing that you noticed after like never mind after hanging out with them for like several like hours that night, they just started calling you Uncle Barney. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing this on purpose. <laughs> No, you're, well, you're, 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 you're legitimate so like they're, they're only emotional rock right now. <laughs> you're literally like set up to be that traveling warrior that becomes their like adoptive father type of <laughs> scenario. <laughs> Morning, Stowe. Morning. Anyway, I would tell them about what they told me about the goblins taking the family and all that. I knew we should have killed all the goblins. Archie's Archie's kind of like looking at you from a distance. He's like, I feel like he just said something about us. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I, I like to speak to Moto and Elvish so that the goblins don't understand. They, you maybe not say that in front of the goblins we recruited. I think the last thing we need is a mutiny. <laughs> I'll delete the, in Elvish. I'll delete them all the same. <laughs> I mean, I guess, but <laughs> <laughs> let's try to let's see how let's try to see how useful they can be first. All right. Okay. <clears throat> so, what's next on the agenda? Are we gonna get prepared to leave, or are we gonna stay and stay? Well, I, I never did actually talk to you guys about this, but uh, uh. We're going to be going to Brimshander, at the very least. That's our only place of notice to go to. Right. For our, our mission, we're pretty much done. Well, uh, should we just... How uh... will we get paid? Yeah, that is the question. Where did we get our job from? Uh... Um, it, it was Lady Nandar. Oh, Lady... Oh, oh God, our fucking... God damn it. <laughs> okay, next town. Um, so, I, should we then just gather up the people of importance, let them know that we gotta get going, and leave the town to them? Yeah. Um, I, I'll, I'll just say that we're, we're gonna be moving on for now. We'll, we'll return. Yeah, of course, we'll come in to check on them. It's just right now we have other business we need to attend to. Okay. Okay. What's everyone else doing? Um... Yeah. Let's try and get out of here before Lady Kikaru. <laughs> <laughs> it is a let's, take a and let's get out of here, guys. Out, Kikaru. I think the villagers will notice, and they're like, "Hello, what are you doing with Lady Kikaru again?" Well, I mean, you can technically stay there. Nothing. They won't, they won't like really. Paris, light it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but uh, please do. But I do have. <laughs> you guys all hate me, huh? <laughs> After everything you've done, roleplay-wise, our characters have every we, reason to yeah. not like you. <laughs> you have you gone against us multiple times. Honestly, outside of roleplay, though, I've loved the shenanigans we've gotten. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. For it's sure. Crazy. Oh, my God. But, <laughs> if you do, I think the village will be like, uh, but I don't know. But I know I want to do something with the guards, but if anyone don't know what to do, I like to do my part. Um, I think I'll... I th here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna... I'm gonna prepare I'm gonna, to leave. Uh, 
just check on the situation with Aqua. Just see what's going on. And uh, I won't. And depending on how things play out, I may or may not mention that we're going to be heading out. <laughs> Sound good? Sure. Okay. Good enough for me. I will be back. Uh, I guess while he's doing that, I'm just going to go over here and say we're probably going to head on to the innkeeper. Okay. Try and find more people to, to help reinforce this place, etc. Okay. Wait, where are you not? You can't be in, like, right next to me and I job. Because while you are talking to them, I'm doing my stuff. I haven't done my part yet. Yeah. Back off. Back off. <laughs> Back off. Well, I was just moving myself ahead oh, of Oh, yeah, time. no. But you see so close that you can yet. eavesdrop. No, don't <laughs> worry. I'm, I'm not going to. No, don't no, no. cheat no. here. <laughs> I'm going to let you do your thing, and then, you know, John can just tell me when I'm officially uh, there. Yeah, that's fine. That's and fine. then I'll partake. That's fine. The only reason why I'm doing that is because, like, I'm right next to him. Yeah. So I can just turn right. around and and talk to him. Yeah. <laughs> Moto. <laughs> hey, David, where are we going? Where are we going next? That reminds <laughs> me, Moto. Perhaps I should explain my actions for uh, what happened in the cave. <clears throat> Go on. Cross so, <laughs> you remember when you, you walked off, you got, uh, you got knocked down. At that point, I'm just trying... I was relying on instincts, and the first thing I, I, I thought of... With was the surrender? Bargain. Bargain for our lives. And I did manage to get you alive because he wanted you dead. Just off the bat. And um I'm just trying to gather as many people as possible to help reinforce this place. So that's why I took the goblins along. They kinda they kinda liked us enough to not mutiny against us. The big guy he's made surprisingly made a good argument, but that all, you know how that all turned out. We old yellered him in the cave. I don't know what about this old yeller, but he's dead. Uh, imagine a, a dog and you had to put him down. Why would you do that? Rabies. Why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> what does your character know about rabies? <laughs> it is a natural thing. Oh One second. God. Let but me, uh, yeah, let me insight this these rabies that you speak of. <laughs> Good old space rabies. Yes, I know what rabies are. <laughs> yeah. no. You wanted him dead. I couldn't change your mind. Eventually, but just know that I'm gonna at least try to recruit people from now on. That's fine. I just went. <laughs> I just want to, you to know that we shouldn't be saving every little thing just to think that they're going to not come back and kill us later. To be fair, the only reason why we got that bargain in the first place was because we saved them. So it was a, it, it was kind of a, a very unfortunate series of events. I sit there and I'm going, yeah, but the only reason why they were alive in that cave was because you let them live. That's debatable. A lot of them were, were, were the ones from, uh, I mean, a lot of them were ones that were not from the village. But anyways. I, I li I'm literally looking at him like I literally counted them like most of them were from the village. Uh, yes, most of them were from, definitely from the village. No, the, all the people in the front, like the five guys I killed in the beginning. Yeah, those ones are, those ones are. Those ones and are then just... there, was a there was the lady who gave me the short bow. She wasn't from the village. Yeah. I don't know enough about that. Oh, uh, well. There was one other that I had talked with, ironically, who didn't survive. Was uh, that one that cut in half? Yeah, the one that you basically made her explode. Yeah. I own her short bow now, which is this. I, I show it. That's fucked up. <laughs> what, what am I supposed to do with it? Just throw it away? Yeah. <laughs> Leave it with their grave. That's messed up. That's called grave robbing, man. That was the exact response. The grave I was that's all over there and there and there. You can still bury all of that. God, I that's can't believe That's a lot you. of work. I'm not going to lie. Oh my goodness. Anyways, I thought I could use it as well because I'm always using crossbows. At the time, at the very least. She gave me arrows, and I could actually work with that instead of ha being cramped and and uh, 
Ah, uh, not again. Uh, <clears throat> mm. But yeah, it would have worked better in the cramped tunnels. <clears throat> sure, why not? Anyways. Until next time, if that next happens time again, I'll, I'll, I'll only have I one person let you to blame do your for thing. this. If you think they deserve to die, and you give a good enough explanation to me, sounds fair. I'm not gonna talk to you to kill monsters. Well, I mean, they're like, not my dad. If they, <laughs> fine, fine, fine. If they're monsters, whatever. Got it. Monsters it's just the bait all bull as to what is a monster. It's the goblins who are <laughs> where oh, the one goblins. that survived that was wearing a pumpkin on its head. Yep. That Didn't is a true monster died? right there. Well, no. The one no, that yeah, had, one like, the pumpkin on his ear. Yeah, died. The other one. He died. Well. The other one. Yeah, the other I'm just, one. like, thinking... Could that really be considered a monster? Just him running around, <laughs> enjoying his life. <laughs> yeah. If Moto was allergic to pumpkins. <laughs> you just chime in. <laughs> are you yeah. allergic to pumpkin? Yeah, you guys are pretty much just Go. standing together in the... So it's pretty much just David. Barnaby, tell your friend to <laughs> tell your friend that it was wrong to keep him safe. I mean, look at you. It turned you out right now, in the end, though. He's and dead. And you almost died. I almost died saving Kikuru. Well, that's All the more a whole reason different to leave now. story. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but that wasn't entirely her fault. Who who knew there was a slime in that cave? I mean, he does have a point. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> anyway, we should probably go figure out where Aqua is and uh... leave before she. Gets I hold. Here. I hold. Barnaby, no, we just go. <laughs> <laughs> she Wait a minute. Saved. Oh, no, we go. What about? <laughs> what about Varus, though? Well, damn it. Yeah, Varus too. Where the hell is Varus? We're at an impasse here. I'll go. I I think about the bridge. I think about Varus's fire. Hmm. <laughs> what do you have in mind? It is not happening. Gosh, why are you guys all doing that? That conversation should be finished. <laughs> yeah, while that conversation's going on, I suddenly okay. get this feeling like Moto's co cooking up a terrible scheme. <laughs> all right, are you, guys, are you guys done with that particular conversation right there? Yeah, I think that about wraps it up. Okay. Go for yeah. Varus and Aqua. All right, Aqua. It's now your go. Um, okay. Uh, I, be, I remember. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. This is uh, way before their conversation really started. Yeah. yeah I mean, this is before it, I this got is, there. This is when I just wake up with everybody else and they mm -hmm. just go Pretty off. Pretty much. Then. Yeah. Um. So, a lot of the guards are there, right? Yep. It's pretty much all the guards that were originally there. Yeah. Okay. So, and Daphne um, is with you too. Okay. It's okay. Daphne's with you. Uh. I uh, went. Daphne's following me. I went to Alar and I was like, Alar, uh, do you guys, do you remember the request I made last night? Uh, which one? Uh, they're kind uh, of, to bring all the guards, yeah. They're kind of just, uh, rubbing the sleep from their eye. Um, oh, 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 I talked to them when they kind of wait. well, uh, yeah, 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 pretty much about the time they're all waking up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, um, Alar and to all the rest of the guards, I don't remember the name, actually. So. <laughs> don't worry, you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> Those guards are nameless, so don't worry about it. At this point, um, you guys just kind of shoved their names away. <laughs> I uh, I want to talk to Alar and to the rest of the guys and Daphne. Um, oh, I don't, how am I supposed to put this out? Um, I want to persuade them about uh, Lady Nandar treasure way in the back. Oh, Is that, yeah, Lady, Lady Nandar's treasure. Mm -hmm. Is there any way, do you guys trust me to open and see what the treasure is inside, what Lady Nano left behind? Um, so, um, do, do a, a persuasion, persuasion check. check. Yeah, yeah, do a persuasion. They're, they're a little, like, touchy about that subject still. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ugh. I don't know how you got a natural one on that. Oh, that sucks. But, um, they're gonna, they're gonna be like, Lady, it's uh, uh, it's not what's that? It, it's not nice to take from the dead. Oh no, I'm not. 
I just feel like, you know, since Lady Nana's gone, you know, we were just... I... Oh, oh, um, okay. actually, sorry, I just wanted to quickly ask. We, we were talking about what our, our job was for dealing with the goblins. Who was the person that hired us to do that? Lady Nandar. Lady Nandar. Okay, just reminding myself on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then, well, I, I'm not thinking of, like, Asher stealing it, you know. I just feel like, you know, this, because it's a treasure, you know, will it ever be open? And I, I was thinking, you know, somebody trustworthy should open it. So I wonder if you guys trust me enough to open it. But... Uh, one of the guards is gonna come up to you. And he's gonna, he's just gonna solemnly say, he's just like, we understand Lady Kikaru, but if we were planning on bearing that along with her. Oh, man, I, okay. Mm. I wouldn't mind, actually. Never mind. Since I failed the persuasion. Okay. Uh, I'm okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, if anything, if anything, Lady, uh, I know it's a little dangerous to open up her chest if you're not from the Nandar family. There's a powerful enchantment, especially if you open it up near the... So, uh, she's gonna kind of describe the sword that's above the uh, the the door frame. He, mm -hmm. He's gonna tell how it's enchanted and if anyone opened that chest uh, that isn't from uh, the Nandar family, then uh, it would go out and attack it, attack whoever opened it. Oh, really? Oh, okay, wow. never mind. I don't want to touch it. <laughs> it's okay. I don't want to hurt myself. I, I was just making sure, like, whatever lady Nando left behind be put into good use. Because I'm. I just feel like because Lady Nando have a secret treasure chest, I feel like it might be useful. So. Hmm. Yeah. If anything, um, what the uh, guards uh, do, uh, they'll come back to the body of Lady Nando. They're gonna prepare to bury her at, uh, near the. the they're still trying to decide if they want to bury her by the uh, keep or by the actual cemetery next to the rest of the families. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's not buried yet. Okay. No, she, you guys literally just left her. Oh my god. <laughs> we didn't mean but if anything, they were they were they pretty much already embalmed the body and everything, so it's not like stinking up the place or anything. Okay. Yeah, it was like we left her, but like she was being watched by her own people. So. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much what they were doing, like the time you guys were inside the cave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Um... If anything, uh, lady, uh, would would you like to help us bury her? Oh, yes, of course. And I also want to ask, does Lady? I, I mean, I think I, I don't know if I should know this or not, but does Lady Nando has any um, offspring or? What? Nope, uh, that was just her. Just her. Okay. Yeah, she because uh, you you know just in general from the Nan from the uh, Knights of Nandar, uh, the book mm -hmm. and everything, the mm -hmm. and. You pretty much were told and told us by your family is that the uh, Nandar family was kind of massacred by the elves. Mm. So she's the only way the sons of the Yep, she's out. there's no more Nandars. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Damn. So no one. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm, I I hope uh, put the body away as well. So. Okay. Okay. Uh, can I? Yeah. Virus is sh... about the time you'll be here. Okay. okay. Heading over here. So I'm I'm just gonna like come in here and just go. Uh, hey Aqua, what's going on? Uh, the guards and I were doing a proper burial for Lady Nandar. I see. Uh, I actually wanted to ask, uh, Alara, Daphne. Uh, uh they'll, they'll kind of look at you and like, uh, yes? Uh, so... uh Daphne's a little bit scared of you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Fair enough. I apologize. It's like Nah, it's because it's because of the elves. Yeah. Um I'm basically just going to say um so we probably never explained who called us here to rid this town of goblins. Um it was actually that lady that you're burying right there. They're not really burying her there yet. She's just kind well, of bombs. Well, that they're planning on her. That lady lying right there. Oh, the dead um, one. The, I'm not, well, not going to say one that. Of the, one of the uh, <laughs> one of the guards is going to be like, ah, uh, it makes perfect sense now. No wonder why you guys came. Uh, if hmm. uh, obviously there's nothing else for us to pay you with. We are completely indebted to you guys, and I wish Lady Nandar was here to help, but 
we can't, if you guys are asking for payment, it's hard for us to really put anything together. But if, yeah. if you guys really do require it, we can try to see if we can scrounge anything up around town. But uh, seeing from our surveillance and walking around, everything's pretty much torn and broken. Interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, Wait, I'm just gonna. Uh, if you demand eat. payment, if you if you want payment, can I try another persuading to see maybe something inside the treasure that something might be good that can pay off well, adventurers and everybody else? Hang on, I, I was actually oh. uh, there. There was I do have an idea that I want to. Oh, go ahead. I kind of want to run with for a moment, and okay. it's like uh, so he he tells us that there's nothing they can really they can try to scrounge up something, but they don't really have anything. Hearing that, I'm going to actually just look to Aqua and go, I don't know, did it's like, hey Aqua, did you see if there was anything that we could possibly get paid with? Uh, yeah, they, I did mention a treasure. Remember the treasure that they mentioned before we head out to the Dripping Cave? Mm -hmm. I wanted, I, I, did want, I did want to try to open it, but then I failed convincing the um, guard, so I could try again, but maybe... Is it that it's not... Is it just something that can't be opened? Oh, yeah. According to the guards, there's, like, there's a flying sword. <laughs> Whatever that is. Hmm. Raise the dead. <laughs> so. Hmm. But uh, only if the guards, but only if they trust me or any of us to open the treasure, but the I don't know. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> John's preparing it in case I try to go nonsense and open nonsense, it. Nonsense, it's a sword. But I look at the guards in the lot and I was like, can I try to persuade one more time? Like, I don't even use swords. Since Barrett is here, he wants payment. You know, do you think maybe. I don't think Lando would be mad if we took the scuff. You know? Yeah. You How can, do you guys feel? Um, uh, Just do another persuasion check and then shut up. Come on! Oh, I suck today. Okay. Can can I? That's another try... five. Whew. Can I maybe try persuasion as well? Sure. Oh my you god! Can, you can help with this. What persuasion. about your channel divinity? Not channel divinity. Uh, guidance. divination. Oh, I don't know. Oh. Yeah, you can change his roll to whatever you rolled today. Whatever those were. Yeah. Whatever oh, you didn't tell me. Oh. Thanks you. Just. Honestly, put... never forget that that divination. It is so broken. It's great. I could have put guidance on myself too, right, to make it go higher. Well, if you didn't already roll for it. Yeah, yeah it's kind of too late okay. on that. That's okay. Uh, no, that's okay. I want to make sure because I, I, I'm, I'm trying to make sure I can use the guidance. Yeah, um, you, can, yeah, you can try to help persuade them. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to use my uh, my uh, seventeen roll. Okay. Or divination. So, so seventeen plus nine. No, just, just plus seven. Oh, yeah. plus your bonus. Plus is zero twenty four. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. So, um, going from that, the guards are gonna be like, uh, I guess, just let at least leave us with the chest, if anything. If there's anything that's too, too valuable in there, please just don't. It might be precious to Lady Nandar. Of course, we're only going to be taking just what was necessary to pay for the job. Well, first of all, honestly, let's see what... we only what? came here to get rid of goblins, and we ended up basically going on a conquest. Oh, well, Varys, I, I understand how you feel, but let's just, just let's just see what's inside the chest. If it's nothing valuable or something we can't pay you off, I think because the towns already have enough. To yeah, pay so many I, I'm not saying we should take every possible thing that's in the chest. Just but if there's uh, maybe some let's... coin, we'll take that. But we're all here, so I think, you know, I don't think we have no intention of doing harm or stealing, so I, I think we should at least try to take a look at it. Right. Um, and then. Does that persuade the guards? Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it definitely persuaded the guards. Okay. okay. Um, I'd like to examine the chest, see if I can maybe figure out what we could possibly need to bypass this sword. <laughs> um, do an arcana check. Okay. Uh... Arcana check. Okay. Oh. So, uh, from what you can tell, um, the guards actually didn't say what the uh, spell was co completely correct. It actually is bound to a particular item and not like a bloodline or anything. Mm. Oh. Okay. 
wait, do, can Varys tell me that or? Oh, yeah, I, I, I uh, don't. <laughs> I'm, I'm, cause, oh, yeah, because this is this is this is my you. knowledge as a yeah. As a I'm just like, huh? uh, it's like <laughs> well, the good news is Aqua is that we don't need a person of the Nandar family to open this chest. Is that true to the guards? Uh, the guards are the guards are just gonna kind of look and be like, we've never heard anything else of the sort. Oh. So, I think are it, you, so you're saying it has to be a particular item? Yeah, I think we need to find something that belongs to that family. And that would allow us to bypass this sword that would probably skewer you in a second. It's just, the question is, what exactly is it that we need? I asked the guard, does Lady Nanda has anything special um, item that she really cares about? They're all kind of thinking, and then they're all like... Uh, I guess the the only thing else that she oh, I need... oh John you very low whoa oh, yeah, yeah you you just dropped yeah. hard on audio oh holy cow oh there we go okay there we go okay yeah. that's better okay. I think yeah. it's just my headset I might have to replace it soon right. but um they're gonna be like um well uh if anything else uh, she did always treasure her wedding ring wedding. okay. <sighs> Do you think we could borrow the wedding ring for a second to see if Wait. it will affect the chest? Is she is Lady Nana wearing the wedding ring? Can I do check on her body? Oh yeah, I guess we should do that too. Um, you don't have to check the body. They're they're pretty much gonna. Uh, Alaris is gonna chime in. She's gonna just say, yeah, while we were, while we were making sure her body was still as best as it could be, um, we noticed she didn't have her ring. Oh. Wait, she didn't have her ring? Yeah did oh. not have her ring. Hmm. Wait, where is the ring? Can I do an investigation on the whole keep? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> nah. I mean, what? I don't know. Might as well try to look for it. No. Um, Daphne's going to walk up behind you guys, and she's okay. just going to tell, like, uh, I I know where it is. Oh, Daphne, you do? How do you know? <laughs> she, she's going to pull it, like, right out of her pocket. Oh. And she's going to be like, how did you get this? Yeah. She she gave this to me before before all this happened. She knew she wasn't going to make it. Was there anything she told you when she handed it to you? Y yeah. She said all she said was to keep Pikaru safe. Oh. If that's hmm. the case then I want out of this. Can I have the ring? <laughs> Can I wear the ring? Patience Wato. I'm I'm getting uh, there. <laughs> I guess this is probably what you what it's meant for, okay. and she'll hand you the ring. Okay, I'm wearing a uh, wedding ring. I'm married. Oh my <laughs> god, Nakla, you want to see if the ring oh will, uh, will allow you to open the chest? Oh, okay. I'll... It kills Aqua instantly. Oh my god! Wait a minute. <laughs> if that's what this happens, is... I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> oh my god. Before We're... before Varus even checks to see if the ring's magical at all, and he's just oh, gonna, oh, he's oh, just gonna yeah, he's just gonna what? just assume <laughs> it is. Because you mentioned that, I'm gonna. I want to make sure. Yeah. Oh my God. I want to at least see if I can tell. That's All right, just doing our comic check. Kill me. Oh my okay. God. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's definitely magical. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> so this is. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. I uh, all right, it, yeah. Aqua. Um. I, there's definitely some form of magic around this ring, so I think this might be our key. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll go for it, guys. So, okay. right. So, <laughs> so okay. you're gonna try it out. You're gonna walk up to the chest. The chest is a really nice embroiled like wooden chest. It it's definitely looks like a regal kind of um, wooden chest. Um, as soon as you uh, try to pry it open, you just kind of feel a slight sting on where your ring is, and it pops mm -hmm. open. Oh. Oh. Yay. Um, so what's in, so the yeah, first um, thing you notice in there? There's a there's just a velvet sack. It looks like it just carries a bunch of coin. Uh, you can't tell yet because you haven't opened it. Uh, there's uh -huh. also another uh, silk pouch. Uh, it looks like there's some kind of s stones or something in there, and then uh, another like uh, small smaller jewelry box. Mhm. Mm mhm. Okay. Um, I'd like to. Like move, uh, 
next to Aqua to also look inside the chest as well. Yeah, you, you pretty much see the same things. Okay, okay I just um, wanted to make sure. I'll open the what? first stack. So, uh, as you open the first stack, um, coin just kind of starts flowing a bit. You can tell it's just oh. all silver pieces, though. Okay. Um, I'd like to look in what the, the other uh, stack was. As soon as you start reaching for your, uh, reaching your hand in there, um, this is gonna... This is gonna slowly rumble. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna. Uh, I, was, I think you should let me touch stuff. Yeah. Item. I'm okay. gonna. I'm gonna just back away, and uh, <laughs> you just tell me what's in that other bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> but the first, I mean, the first stack is just all gold, uh, silver. Yeah, it's just all silver for the first stack. Oh. Um, from yeah, what okay. you can surmise, this is how she was paying like most of the, uh, most of the guards. Guards. Oh. Yeah, this is this is pretty much our monthly salary. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, Aqua, what's in the other one? Wait, 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 hold on. I look at the guards. Does the guard know what this money is? No. Oh, just, they're just no. they they're not actually even really with you inside the room. They're all just kind of outside the room at this point. Cause oh they really? They, yeah, because you get she. They don't want to be inside Lady Nandar's room. It's just so like they're so used to not being in there and oh. just more protecting the outside of it. Okay. 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 So it's just Varys and I inside. Yeah, it's Varys, okay. you and Daphne. Oh, Daphne. Okay. Okay. Hey, Daphne. Uh, oh yeah. So yeah, I found anyways, a group uh, of silvers. What's in the other bag, Aqua? Okay, give me a second. Gosh. <laughs> well, in case you haven't noticed, there's a sword that's gonna kill me. <laughs> hey. First of all, I could just close it. And that's like you know what? I might change my mind. What's in the bag, lady. Aqua? <laughs> oh, no, I, I, I close the chest. Don't push me. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, anyway, okay, it's fine. Uh, open the second bag. Sorry. Right. Yeah. As you open up the second bag, you can you can feel these really, really nice, like, uh, gemstones. Uh, there's some emerald. There's, there's like, yeah, one emerald, about two rubies, and then, like, one really nice diamond. Um, you can tell, you can kind of tell that they're just very expensive. Okay, and what's the, the last item? Uh, it's a smaller jewelry box inside there. Um, once you open that one up, um, the there's three like really beautiful like gold like rings. Thanks. Oh okay. Hmm. Um, Daphne, I want to talk to Daphne. Like, how, Daphne, do you how do you feel about these treasures? Um, if anything, I f I feel bad for even gazing upon them. What do you think I should do it? What do you think we should all do it with it? Uh, if anything, August. how I feel about it, uh, I know what Lady Nandar probably would have done. She probably would have helped or sold these items to help rebuild this village. Yeah. Knowing how benevolent she was. Yeah. Hey, Aqua. Huh? Uh, sorry, uh, just out of roleplay. So the second bag had a bunch of like valuable stones that you could sell? Mm-hmm. Well, if I wanted to sell it. <laughs> yeah, if anyone wants to sell them or anything. Yeah. Okay, well, I was going to yeah. say, um, Yaku, why don't we take the bag that has the the stones and maybe just some of the silver pieces, and then we just call it at that? Because, honestly, we'd probably get more out of the stones than we would just by taking the silver. Huh. But do I have a complete control of the treasure? Oh yeah, I guess. I yeah, do. you're the only one who can reach into the chest. Uh, otherwise, otherwise we get attacked by a sword. I'm playing as careful here. I, I know, I know. It's just the I, I swords mean, pacing back and forth, I'm looking at what me. I want to do. <laughs> it's giving you the stink eye. <laughs> it's like I, it doesn't have any eyes, but I can tell it's looking at me. <laughs> mm. Daphne, I, I, I want to take the silver jewelry box. Because since I'm waiting to have this wedding ring, I think I want to like take at least some of the accessories so I can wear them for myself. Oh, uh, that's that's fine. Um, yes, sir. I I can. And, okay. I'm sure that'll be fine. Thank you. And so could I, Aqua? Could I take the stones and then we'll just leave? The well, money not just for yourself. But I think. Well, no, I, not for I, I myself. Was, I was I, I was thinking of selling the silk, the gemstones. And the and the like the coins to yeah, give, was, to, give, to give everybody from the village and to our to our adventurous party. Yeah, that's what I was but thinking too. I, but I think I maybe can convince the people, the village. Well, what do you want to do? 
help the village or help us and help us? Well, I was I was just thinking that we give them the silver and then we take the stones. We can profit off the stones and then at least they've got the silver to yeah. help them pay for things. Daphne, is that okay with you? Um, I don't really have much of a say so. Yeah. But, okay. Um, whatever you'd like to do, lady. Okay. <laughs> Ultimately, they can't touch the chest, so they can't put it back. Yeah. I'll, I'll take I'll take everything, but I, I will distribute. I'm I'm thinking of distributing the um the coins. Okay. Wait, wait what kind of gemstones are there again? Uh, mm -hmm. it's a uh, one emerald, two rubies, and a really nice diamond. Nice. Okay, I, okay. I'm taking the diamond. We're not selling that. So, I want the diamond for myself. Yeah, uh, they're they're, All right, they're uh, fairly smallish. They're not like huge. Then can you hand me the other ones? <laughs> oh no, I I hold it on for myself. So. Oh my god. So um, because I'm going to distribute them you just got with my it. own hand. So. <laughs> but don't I didn't worry. Write the damn world. <laughs> but, but don't worry. I I won't lie to you that you know we're Who not died? going to distribute. We are. We are, We will distribute though. But oh, I, I will uh, think of to keep me the jewelry box and the diamond. So. Okay. Th that's it? You're just taking those? Or you're taking everything and then you're just gonna distribute everything? Uh, I'll take everything, but the diamond and the jewelry box <laughs> will be mine for myself. <laughs> Seeing the chest empty, the sword grew 50 times. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened next, John? Like, okay, uh, well, so, um, yeah. I'm you, gonna you, go... You uh, can take all that stuff if you want. So yeah. Stick to you. Okay. Right. It's like, I all put right. the diamond in my pocket and hide the jewelry box, and I walk out. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, uh, and with that, I'm going to say, all right, uh, now that we've got that settled, I am going to head back into town. All right. Uh, the um, the guards, uh, while you walk out, uh, keep everything and be like, oh, uh, was there anything you guys needed in there? Oh, no. I, we found, I tell them, we found this uh, group of coins and some gemstones that we could probably sell for the venture, uh, for the ventures to get some and for the villagers. Uh, so it could help boost out the, um, the town. I, we agree. Okay. If anything, you get you guys really do deserve that. Uh, are you do. planning on leaving with them, Lady Kikaru? I am because Modok, he gave me some information that I need to complete my goal. You know, I have a goal that I came here before I came in here, so I think I might leave to oh. go to find my friend. Oh, I see. I see. Oh. Uh, Godspeed to you then. <laughs> okay. So, are you gonna distribute any of the uh, silver amongst them, or what are you gonna do? Oh yes, I will get everybody. Every, I mean, everybody will get an equal share. Everybody in the village and the guards. And okay. Are you gonna do it now? <laughs> yeah, are you gonna uh, do that? Oh, the, oh yeah. I have a quick question. The sword. Mm -hmm. Can I hold, can I use that sword no. or no? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it, it's... <laughs> uh, oh, hard. Okay. No. Tries to touch the sword and immediately tries to cut you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, because I don't mean it's essentially a, it's essentially attached to that room at that, this point. Oh, okay, okay. It's just one frame of animation. You touch the sword. The next frame is literally the sword's already fully through you. There's no wind-up animation of it going to stab you. It's just already there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so let's go head to town. Okay. The sword is the room. Everybody go, we all go to head to town. <laughs> This keeps reminding me of that fucking penny problem. <laughs> Alright. You guys are heading out. It's a penny now. that grew in double its size every day. Oh god. Bad. What would you do to stop it? Before it kills everybody? Send it into space? Alright. So That's one of the things, but it would eventually get get to you guys. Alright, so this is pretty much around the time you guys' conversations are all wrapped up and you guys just kinda meet up in the square. This is what we're actually talking about by the time we get back. <laughs> yeah, so there's so... a copper piece <laughs> where that size grows double every time. Uh, every day. What the Ferris? Yeah, so Ferris we send... just got to the conversation. What did I just walk into? <laughs> so if we send it to a different place where the days last extraordinarily long, like the realm known as is, is, uh, Mercury, <laughs> that would... That would definitely at least grant us time from this evil, uh, evil copper coin. So what'd you, uh, find out, Varys? Well, uh, we... 
Wait, we're all here, right? Including yeah. the guards and... Yeah, it's like, well, we managed to find out uh, how to open the chest for Lady Nandar's treasure. Uh, so we could get paid for the job that we did. Nice. And here's the downside. Um, only Aqua was able to open it. Uh, oh, and God. is currently carrying everything. That's not nice. <laughs> no. I, tr I tried. Wait, am I to... here listening to this? I should be, right? <laughs> uh, I... This is around the time you guys are starting to come by. Oh, and, yeah, I was already, I had already left by the time yeah. you had finished your conversation. So yeah, I was you were talking okay. to the guard. Please. So you're, you were a little bit, um, okay. Yeah. Behind. And, gotcha. it's like, gotcha. and I tried to suggest that, you know, they leave, there were silver coins, some, uh, some valuable gems. And then there was like some sort of jewelry box. Uh, I suggested we leave the coins to them and then we take the gems because we could probably make profit off of that more than the silver. And Aqua decided to just keep all of it, and I couldn't touch any of it without having a magical sword try to impale me. So, oh, huh, yeah. Um, so apparently she plans to distribute the wealth. Um, I don't trust so her with that. I don't either. Frank. But there was nothing I could really do about it. But now that the items are no longer in the chest, I'll leave the thinking to you guys. I could try and swipe it out of her pocket. It's just a diamond, right? Uh, it's a uh, diamond, oh. an emerald, a couple rubies or something like that. And I'll try and swipe them out. And gold. Okay. Yeah. At least we'll uh, have a more trustworthy figure grabbing it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna like try and rush off to try and hide behind something before uh, Pikaro gets here. <laughs> really? No. Do you? No, I don't. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> I went, so the guards and I got to the center. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, Kiko, do a perception check against that. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> a 22 stealth. <laughs> Dude, if he actually gets higher than 20. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. He had to roll a nat 20. Yeah, yeah <laughs> it would have been a nat 20 to meet it. Yeah. You, you don't know where David is. But at this point, you're okay. not like really too concerned. You're yeah, more concerned no. about like actually helping out. Yeah, no, just just delivering the coins. Okay. Mm. So, um, wait, so the guys next to me, right? Um, you didn't really tell them to follow you or anything. They're just more. Yeah, like... <laughs> yeah. Oh no, yeah. I, no, I, I want them to follow because I want the see to me distribute. So I want them. To... <laughs> I, I want you to distribute yeah. them. Yeah, well, you you pretty much um, what do you call it? They're, they're pretty much with you at this moment, then. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. I and, I like, and I tell the guards and like, can you guys gather up everyone, all the villagers again for me? We're going to try oh to distribute goodness. all the money. Jesus fucking Christ. You know, um, <laughs> Alara's going to say, uh, uh, probably, it might just be easier if we all just separate and go door to door. Translation, John's not oh. moving the icons for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shh, uh, you got to okay. keep the mystique. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Just keeping okay. it real okay. here. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, let's all four of us. Let's... And Daphne's with me too, right? Yep. Let's all deliver the coins. Okay. So I'm, 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 so, so I'm doing each house is going to each villagers and giving them a fair share. Do I know exact number of the villagers? Or uh, You know there's a decent amount. And you just kind of kind of size them up. Um, okay. you, you know a lot of like the families that need it more and everything. Okay, so I mean, I give everyone at least some coins, a silver coin. Okay. Uh, um, while not. while you're going around with that, um, what else is everyone else doing? Uh, David, are you just kind of like stalking them? <laughs> I'm waiting for my opportunity to steal the gems that we are owed. Okay. <laughs> I'm right. waving at Alara. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Alara's gonna while while she's kind of helping distribute everything too. Uh, Alara sees you waving. She kind of like waves like very meekly at you and then like continues on nice so, yeah. i guess i'm gonna wait until they do their thing so, yeah, no i'm gonna, gonna prepare to leave <laughs> actually <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna i'm gonna walk up to moto and i'm just gonna speak to him in elvish again uh we, we and... only speak to each other now. <laughs> it's literally the only thing <laughs> Sooner or later, we're gonna be talk talking in to each other only in different languages that only two people can understand. 
I only so speak like because I know no one else can understand me. <laughs> like I think, does anyone actually know Draconic? No, probably not. Uh, no, but I do know Elvin. Okay, Wait, you know well, Elvin? Yeah. Oh my oh. God. He's just been okay. You guys. That. Even I better. I, okay. I get to talk to, to NPCs with, with Draconic then. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so, okay. I'm going to go up to Moto and Barnaby and speak Elvin. Well, you and... don't know that Barnaby knows. Yes. Oh, right. I don't. Okay. Sorry. Right. I go up to Moto speaking Elvin and basically say, um, so I honestly think that if the opportunity arises itself, we take whatever she just took out of that chest. Okay. Would you help me with that <laughs> when well, the time comes? What is her plan? Is she trying to come with us? I honestly think she, yes, she still has the intention of coming along, and she intends to carry, uh, wait, sorry, what was it, uh, three golden rings, you said, that was in that jewelry box? Yeah, it, it, it was three, like, uh, very, like, nice rings. Yeah, it's like, and apparently she's still carrying three valuable rings on top of Good Nandar's job. Wedding ring? If wedding ring. <laughs> uh, so there's still going to be some valuables on her person that we might not be able to convince her to part with. Well, if she doesn't, and she comes along, there's an easy way to part with those kinds of things. <laughs> I get ya. Alright, well then. Feel free to let me know when you want to make it happen. Out of uh, character. Why the <laughs> fuck did I pick up Noel? <laughs> I'm never going to use this! I do know. Uh, in, in Elvin, I will chime into their conversation. Uh, why are we speaking Elvin? Ah, it knows! <laughs> it's like, oh. <laughs> it's like, oh, I didn't know you could speak Elvin. I picked up some here and there as a merchant, you know. Fair you enough. Up Barnaby and throw him? Oh, we're kidding. I'm just gonna continue to pretend I didn't hear anything. And, uh, let you all sort out that problem. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna basically I, I surround, respond to Barnaby. Yeah, it's Barnaby. So... Hey there, buddy. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna. It's a shame. So <laughs> my, my response to Barnaby is basically so then that way we don't have to worry about Aqua hearing our plots. <laughs> But who's to say that Aqua doesn't also speak Elven? True, but she's too far away right now to hear us, and we I don't need the is... villagers to hear us. Now see, this is why I picked Noel because no one's ever gonna pick that. <laughs> as, as soon as soon as um as soon as you guys are having this conversation, two two uh, villagers very familiar to Barnaby are gonna walk up to him, and they're, they're just gonna start screaming, <laughs> "Uncle Barney, Uncle Barney, look what look what Kikaru got us!" Uncle Barney. Uncle Barney. <laughs> Uncle Barney? Uncle Barney. <laughs> 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 no, so finally he speaks. <laughs> he still is just so stoic and just staring until he hears that phrase. <laughs> so the, the kids are all holding up these, uh, like a good amount of silver pieces. And they're like, we can finally buy the toys. Oh, that was very nice of Lady Kikuru to do that for you. Yeah, we I love Kit Lady Kikuru. She's so nice. <laughs> She's the best, isn't she? Say what the fuck. <laughs> I burst out laughing. The so even the funniest Moto. joker. Oh, isn't that right, Moto? And say. <laughs> I walk away. <laughs> yeah, they're they're gonna um as soon as they're done showing you the gold and everything. Like, thank you so much, Uncle Barney. And they they kind of like both give you like 10 silver pieces each oh i i can't i could not possibly take that but it, but it was Everyone's for helping us that it was for helping eyes. us last night no <laughs> no no i can't i don't know how to die feel right <laughs> no, please 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 we insist and I... they'll, they'll just kind of try to stuff it in your pocket i no please stop no no what did you do last night, Barnaby? <laughs> and as soon as they, as soon as they uh, stuff it in, as soon as they stuffed it in your pocket, they all, they both just run off, and they just, they're gonna go to the uh, inn. God damn it! Wow, Barnaby. So you know that <laughs> Did you found in the rubble? No. <laughs> so I found a teddy bear in the rubble last time we were here, and I found out that it, it belonged to the kids. 
<laughs> and I will I just love that. I will lean yeah. close to them and whisper, I think their older sibling and parents are dead, and they needed someone to comfort them last night. That's not what I just saw. So you comforted them by sleep, by staying I, at their I place. Out so they would feel safe. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say, that was some fucked up shit. Uh, I'll, 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 like, pop up from behind a boulder. I'll, look, part of me, if it was anybody else, I would completely doubt you. But you are Barnaby, and so I believe you. I oh, don't know. I feel like oh, he's oh, one oh, of those yeah. guys that can be led into doing anything if they're nice enough. What the hell is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Moto, your children. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you what? ran out and tried to save Aqua. See what happened to him then? Uh, ben, that has nothing to do with this. Um, Too Kef- nice for your own good. Kef is going to come up and be like, I... I did see the see him come in there. <laughs> and then he's just walk away. Thanks, Kip. How how does that change anything? He just said what I said. Does he tell us? What... Uh, don't worry, no, he yeah, literally I just said that phrase game. and then left. <laughs> oh, okay. Come on, Barnaby. You should know I'm a jokester. I'm just yanking your chain. That's fair, but like the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Can Moto be the one who said that? Sure. Um, Moto, you want to say that? <laughs> You're trying to do one nice thing and it gets you killed. You try to do a nice thing and you get labeled a potential suspect. <laughs> If that's what you want to call it. This episode is now going to be called uh, Barnaby, the suspe- uh, the uh, potential suspect. <laughs> From now on, whenever we introduce ourselves, I'm Varys, this is Stowe, that's David, this is Moto, and this is Barnaby, the suspect. <laughs> he has to tell you, he has to tell everyone in a hundred mile radius when he's here. Oh. <laughs> We have these scrolls we had them fill out. <laughs> yeah, a social worker follows us around in a fucking caravan. <laughs> okay, uh, we should do it on. I'm to inform you that Barnaby is here. I'm sick of this town already. <laughs> All right, Kiko, this, this, you're yeah. still kind of distributing everything. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. you're you're almost done. Okay. Well, with so, that, everyone's... It's... Is uh, uh Kikuru actually surrounded by people? Um, kind of, sorta. Yeah, she's definitely going. When you're following her around, you can definitely tell that she's honestly giving all, like, all the coins and everything to everyone. And, Has like, she actually passed out any of the gems? Uh, no, no. Nope, have you? Nope, not the gems. Nope. Okay. Okay. Gems so yet. yeah, no, she has not passed out any of the gems, but you can yeah. tell. You can tell how much it means to so much of these villagers. I'm not gonna stop her from giving away the coins, but I just want those gems. <laughs> uh, cause uh, no, I don't know. How, cause I want I want the gems to be sold. But I need to sell them, right, to the get make money to get really any like, like value out of them. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't I don't know who's any merchant here. So no, no. Well, well, just, I'm no it's... Look at this town. <laughs> it, it was... Yeah. So I was just like, what am I supposed to sell? The only uh, the only person yeah. that maybe would have been a merchant is kind of dead. Oh God, Johnny. Oh yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, um... Yeah, I believe you. <laughs> well, once I'm done distributing the money, I do want to talk to um, Daphne. Okay. So, yeah. uh, if you uh, want to go along the... with that dialogue. Yeah, so, hey Daphne. Uh, yes, lady. S- sooner or later, maybe today, I don't know actually, but I'm going to um, that town you mentioned. Uh, the... Prince Chandra? <laughs> yeah, Prince Chandra, yeah. <laughs> I, um... I, but since you're a lady in waiting, I know you... What? I know you. Of course, been I'll follow me. you everywhere. There's no question about that. Are you sure? Is it might be dangerous? Do um, you want to? I, it is dangerous. Oh, and sure. I'm. I haven't ever been up north before, but since Lady Nanda is not here, uh, you're really my only lady right now. Okay. Hmm. 
Okay, I I made the decision. I want you to follow me, and I'm gonna have these. And I promised the goblins that maybe they will actually find a new home. So, can you take care of the goblins and me, of course? Um, it's a little bit weird, but if that's what you request. Okay, and don't forget, I mentioned be wary of Moto. Because so. um, yeah, if you're coming along, he's gonna do anything to you know get you. So. Of course, of course. Okay. If that's the case, I took I opened the jewelry box that I gave her one of the uh, ring. One I'm of gonna, the rings. One of the wear it, so. Oh, I'm gonna have my observant feet so that I can. Uh, you, you can you can from across you can see that um, Kiku is giving uh, something to Daphne. Yeah, I gave um, her Daphne's gonna for. look at the ring. She'll be like, um, uh, are, are are you sure? Yes, because. Since you're following me, you know, I know Lady N Nando wants to share the wealth, and I, I, I think you deserve at least one of the rings, so here she'll, you go. This she'll is my start, gift. She'll have, like, a little tear in her eye, and she'll be like, I, I appreciate this so much. She'll okay. put on the ring. Okay. Please take good care of it. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, good. Um, okay, I got the chip. Good luck, Okay. So, um, so I went to the party. I'm going to straight to the party. I noticed them. Okay. Uh, Daphne's yeah, gonna go help the uh, the goblin. goblins uh, ready the uh, wagons. Okay, cool, cool. Um, oh, Aloy, Aloy was next to me too, and the guards. Yeah, they're they're yeah. they they're uh, coming back from the the thing that you gave. Okay, okay. And I, I want to talk to Alar. I was like, Alar. You know, about it's the same same situation with Daphne. Like same conversation. Pretty much. But and then but you're yeah. gonna also give her a ring. Well, how she feel? Like does how she, she feel stay? about? Yeah. Leaving? Does she want to stay? Yeah. Or leave, um. Yeah. Pretty much. How do you want to try to persuade her to leave with uh, with you guys? Um. Oh, first of all, I have Daphne. I said, "Oh, Daphne's coming along, and she's really weak. And no, you're a guard. And you know, we us women need some backups. So I was thinking, can you come with us? Just a lot, and, and uh, protect um, la a lady Daphne. I mean, not lady. Well, I gave her a ring, and I have this extra ring, and I want to give it to you to wear as well. I want all three of us to wear a ring. Um. I've I, she, she's she's gonna kind of blush a bit because she's thinking about Moto, and she's like, oh, "Does that mean I get to come with y you guys?" Yes, I, I and I'm I'm sure I'm going along with the rest of the party too. So, uh, um, sh sure, sure, as long as it's okay with you, as long as okay. it's okay with uh, everyone. Sure, and here's the way I give her the ring. As yeah, well. she'll like, she'll, hey, she'll hey, take the ring and she'll she'll kind of like look at it. She's never seen anything so pretty before. Yeah, and she'll she'll put it on. Yeah. And no matter what, this ring will always be yours. Keep it safe. This is my gift to you. Thank you, thank you, Lady thank Hikaru. You. Okay. And um, I told Daphne to help me take care of the goblin and the wagon. And my kind of, can you also help her as well? And please protect the whole. Yeah, Daphne. of, of I, course. Yeah. Sure. I want, yeah, I want Daphne to be your, and the goblins to be your main concern, like the main to, to protect. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Okay. Uh, she'll she'll kind of uh, like hold hold fast her uh, her really like crudely made spear and kind of come by. Good taste. Okay. And I went to the whole uh, whole party. Okay, While dude. you're going and, to the party, I'm gonna like walk up behind you and put my arm over your shoulder and I go, Aqua. Okay. I, and uh and like. Silently try and grab the, the, the gems. Sleight of hand. Okay. Sleight of hand, yeah. Okay, go for it. I, guess. I just want, I honestly just want to use this skill. <laughs> and then, and then to, uh, this is the first time in my fucking entire D&D career Are you that kidding I've ever me? used Slay of Hands. Just go for it, go for it. Do I have the protection? It does work. Wait, uh, what was that? Uh, you'll roll, um, let me see. Let's, yeah, just do a perception check. Okay. Against that. Yeah, you, you don't notice, uh, Kikoru. Woo! Uh, okay. Nice. Okay. Well, I talk. Well, David's next to me, and I was like, "Oh, David." Uh, wait. Does David and the whole party can hear me now? Or yeah, yeah you're pretty much. Here. Yeah, okay. this was as you were getting to the party, and then I kind of like put it behind behind me, like trying to hide it. That's fine. Uh, because uh, I wanted to. Um, I don't know what to do with the gem. I wanted to sell it, so I was like, to the whole party, I took out. The gemstones. Well, you're trying to. You're trying to, but it's yeah. not there anymore. Oh, well, well, I mentioned, guys, 
Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. You're gonna. Hey, you're, you're gonna the try to. The gemstones are gone. <laughs> gone. Are what they? Are they now? <gasps> They're gone. I don't know what happened. Aqua, you're the only one who could have touched them. How could you lose? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I found these gemstones with Lady Nandar chest, and I wanted to sell them so we can. I'm gonna All motion over to Aqua, uh, not not Aqua, the other Aqua, Moto, to like, like distract her. <laughs> but I don't know what happened awesome. to the gems. I need. Uh, Are you trying to will... hide something from us, Aqua? No. Wait. I'm gonna like try and silently hand it over to Vars. I... I start screaming to all the guards. Guards! Guards! Uh, the gemstone! The, the, the main guards are coming. They're like, oh, the, the gemstones? The gemstones are gone. They were on me. I don't know what happened. I think someone stole it. Uh, you, okay. you might have just dropped them on, while we were distributing the silver. We'll, we'll look for it. Please and they're look, all, for look it. around in town for it. Yeah. They're yeah. they're all gonna they're all gonna disperse and try to look around. You did go around town quite a lot. Yeah. Okay. Nothing by the we... amount of people that went up to Barn okay. Barnaby. That went to the whole party, guys. <laughs> um. Okay. Have... So you're handing them to me, David? Yeah, I did. Okay. I like silently handed them to you because you could probably hide them better than I can. Oh, can I also do a perception check if I see that too, just in case, like side of hand? Well, you went, you went off to the guard. Yeah, you, you went off to the guard. This is why you're screaming had, at the guard. Uh, that was that was before you. I screamed. That was before I screamed. Well, well, did that Moto distract you as well. Yeah, and yep. Moto's talk like talking to you too. Oh, yeah. okay. there's no way you could have caught it. Um, okay, so it was one diamond. Uh, what was it? Two. two oh no, the diamond's in my pocket. It's in the not in the <laughs> pouch. It should be one, two, three. Three gemstones that you stole. I, from I me. took the gemstones, but I didn't take the diamond. Not yet, at yeah. least. Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> the diamond's in my pocket because I keep that for so myself. Three gemstones. So you must you must have dropped all all the gems, right? Uh, yeah. Apparently, no. Uh, just three gems. Three gems were supposed to be in this uh, um, sack, and they're gone. There's so, another. Yeah. There's another. Oh yeah, I do. Took out the diamond. This is this is the diamond. This was also in the sack. So, huh. but I want to keep this for myself, cause since Lady Nando's property, I like to think it's my property. So I inherited it. So. <laughs> wow. I, I thought, what a way to say that. What, that is that a literally... very terrible choice wow. of words. I mean, if you think about, it, you can ask all the villagers and the guards. I'm sure they will believe that I should be in here. Uh, you know. I know, but that's Waka just a terrible choice of girl. words. I say in Elven, so that only Bardavi and Voto can hear me. That's messed up. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> you guys are just... I don't... Well, I don't know. Because well, you don't, you don't know what I, we were I, saying to each other. We are just like no singing way, gibberish. But there's no way I could have dropped the gemstone. I hope no one stole it, because that's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to hold back shuffling. But you know, I... I just hope we can find it, because if, Because I feel like the gemstone should be distributed to the party, right? Perhaps. Three? Yeah. Oh well. I hope we can find it though. But um, I have I have my guards looking around to find the gemstone. But um, I. Speaking of which, are we leaving today? Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm our sure job, that our with work the, the gemstones, they'll be able to send a messenger. Wait. I well, I think I was thinking before we head off. Can we find the gemstones so we can sell it for the whole party? I don't no, think we're gonna be able because to sell we it won't here. be able to sell it anywhere. Yeah, not nowhere here. I know, but I want to sell it in the future, but we have to it, find it. It won't. Can't. It won't matter. They'll send it to us anyways. Uh, no. My people need to find those gems. So this is Lady Nando property. I need to find it before I leave. Well, no wouldn't it be leaving. better if it's here for them? Hmm, that's good. If they find it, but that's the thing. I want to make sure they find it because that those gemstones are good. Well, just have valuable. them send a messenger. Have yeah. That, that's what I was saying, like, if they, if they find it in a reasonable amount of time, they would at least be built up enough to, to handle trade. Hmm. Well, let me talk to all the and, villagers and the guards. But right oh now, my, my guards God. are looking for it, so Aqua? let's just wait. Aqua. Let me Am put I shut up to leave? <laughs> Aqua, let me put it this way. Either we have them send a messenger and we leave and the messenger can bring it to I us. Or you can stay here and look for the gemstones, and we're gonna go. I'm gonna G guys. I don't get it. Why are you guys are such in a hurry? This town is not that thick. We can stay I'll, here a bit I'll longer. I'll whisper. To, fix. I, can we I don't... whisper something to Varus? Sure. These people still need um, help, and 
Oh, sorry. I just These gemstones don't really matter. If we can find them, we can sell it. But we need to find them. We can't just guarantee that they will find it and set off the messenger. Guys, how <laughs> could you be like this? It's more that there's more of there's, there, there's no real urgency for us to find, to like, it, it's it's money. We're not yeah. really that in need. No, well, I thought about giving it to you guys, but maybe this town maybe needed more. So, yeah. <laughs> that's what we're saying. If they find yeah. it, it's theirs. If they it's want theirs, to we don't it. give a shit. Um, well, maybe I do want to keep more because this is my puppy. You know, when I think about it, but you know, <laughs> oh my actually, goodness! But, but let me talk to the whole. <laughs> let me talk to the whole villagers. Actually, hold on. Oh Laura, I see your phone goes to the app. Oh Laura, give me the back right now. Uh, Don't whisper that. Okay. <laughs> I need help. You want, I'm wait, gonna. You can, you can you gather if all you the run villagers? Off for for Alara. I'm sorry, Lady Kikuru. They're all a little busy right now. No, it's, I just need you. Can you make all the? Can you get? Can you get every villager's their attention? I need their attention. Oh, oh my god. Goodness. Just how I give the performance to the center. Can you like? No. Kip, I leave this to you. <laughs> so he gave me the bag. Um, I'm just gonna walk off and like just drop it at one of the houses, and then come back after okay. like rounding around. Round. Okay. Um, Alara's gonna. Pretty much say like yeah, sure, sure, Lady Kikaru, I, I'll I'll do that for you. And while okay. she's about to, one of the guards just screams, "I found it!" Oh, <laughs> where? Wait, what? 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 Hi, hello. <laughs> um, uh, they found it. We only started searching. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, totally it was. Searching. It How wasn't too far away. It was just right How here. Convenient. <laughs> I talked to the guards. I'd whisper that in Elven. Show me. <laughs> I really wish Indeed. I could understand Elfish Wait, right now. I'm confused. I'm confused now. So what's the guy's gonna do? He's gonna I hand you. The... He's handing you the sack. Oh, oh. he has, the, he has the, the sack of gems. He's handing it back to you. He found it. Yeah. Oh, he found oh, it. Oh, okay. yeah. Let me remove. Oh your wow. Character. Okay. <laughs> you did. Oh, where did you find it? Yeah. Where you? Good job. Oh, she, she stopped. You don't have to do anything. We found the gems. She, she kind of just like gives you a thumbs up and then just okay. is helping the wagon. Okay. All right. Now that we've got that figured out, can we get going, please? I want to start going before we've wasted the entire day. Good away. life. Travel and see stuff, you know? Okay. Yeah. You know. These gems. Oh. Yes. Yeah, uh, can I found them in the next town? Can I do <laughs> one thing before I leave? Can yes. I fashion some like uh, blunt arrows so I can at least knock things out from ranged? Sure. Yeah, yeah. You you can do honestly do that while we were traveling. Okay, traveling. cool. Because uh, I I just wanted a way to like say I knock people out from ranged. Okay. Um. Uh, just how how many are you able to fashion? Uh, I would say like twenty thirty. That's the most I can carry. Probably this is gonna be a long, a uh, long couple of week. Well, actually, it might take even a month just to get to Bryn Shander from where you guys are at. Oh boy. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, the sooner we get going, the better. <laughs> so, the uh, guys gave me the sack of gems, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. so I talked to the whole party. Oh, guys, we found a gemstone. I, I I, at first, at first circle I, was, I was thinking of, you know, giving to you guys, but after the whole shenanigans, I think it's good for the villagers. So, once we sell them, let's give them the money to them. I say that still holds the gems. Is that a good idea? I vote let's... for Stow to hold the gems too. Let's have Stow. He's the most trustworthy of all he's, of us. He's also very sturdy, uh, so they'll be well protected. Well, okay. actually, give me the gems because I'm I'm still holding the gems. So I was like, no, this is still Lanny Leonard properly. I'll still hold it. <laughs> yeah. I have to yeah. make sure. We're gonna have to agree to disagree. <laughs> yeah. I have to make sure. Then sorry. Then if that's the case, I'll leave the gemstone here. Group vote. Take them with you. Take them with us. Take but them give with them us. the stow. But give them nope. the stow. Yeah. I disagree. I'm going to give it to the guards. Okay, guys. Go. I, know you found, I know you found this gemstone, but give it to the everybody. Aqua, I eventually, hate you. I hate eventually, you. <laughs> eventually, Aqua? you can... You can okay, what? hold up a sec. John, you're seriously Boys. metagaming the fuck and, right now? And no, no. Yeah. no. No, yeah, you are. You pretty much I'm are. Not, I know, He's but you I'm are not. pretty. You were gonna get. Oh yeah, that party, is. But then you, just because of what they did, you're doing that. So make sure you don't do that. Well, I really want the property. It's my property. Yeah, it's but but, 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 you, but you but you changed your mind. You changed your mind because of the meta gaming. Like I yeah, okay. I did this all in silent. Your character didn't know about it. 
Yeah, no, oh, I didn't you're, know about you're it. You're doing this because just to spite you're, everyone. Yeah, just to spite yeah, us. Spite, uh, yeah, but I really so want the Jeff still. Right? You have no idea that we did that, and we're literally telling. No. We're no, 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 I, I really want I the gemstone John's coming because from, you know why? He's actually trying to be selfish, but at the same time, because... we were making a big deal of we could send it later and we don't care to try to kit him off. Yeah, I did like so that. So in his perspective, he thinks that we don't care. Yeah, but also, but the thing is, I really want to control this whole town later for myself. Uh, that, I really yeah, want to, I really want to be Lady Kikuro of this Knight and Stone. I so want to be the next actually hair. metagaming. So we I literally really want put to ourselves into really this. want the gem and gem that's and related to Lady Nano, Nano's property is mine. It's it's mine. Oh, that's my goal. One of my goals. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. So I'm not really meta. I I I know what you guys mean. I'm trying to stay away from. It. I'm trying to stay in character, but that is my character. She it really she. It, she it's has... just it is a little bit out of character that you just suddenly turned around well, and then well, just like oh I just want it now. But the, but the, but think no, about it, guys. Actually, but think she about just it. You guys the diamond. <laughs> On top yeah. of going, okay. You but you guys, it, but you mine. guys are going out of character by not caring about the people. I thought we really care about the people. I'm not going, going out of character. I'm really going out of character. I can literally. No, no, oh, actually, the... not out of character, but really like suspicious and ungrateful. So I'm like, but okay, guys, okay, we people. didn't actually you... alert you at all. I'm, I'm going to be completely honest. Leading up to this whole thing, I have found your actress to be suspicious that you have been playing a selfish character. And then you were just going, yes, distribute <laughs> this money. I care deeply about all you yes, guys. Here, I do. That is out of character. <laughs> no, it's not. John, am I out of character? John, <laughs> um, so far from all your actions, yes. <laughs> oh, my God. I have a goal. <laughs> I really want to, like, remember the first time I want to control this, I want to inherit this town? I, I'm thinking about doing that. Because right before I leave the town, I want to convince the villager I'll be back. When I do be back, I want to be there for you guys and help this town out even more. Morax is going to come up to you guys and be like, oh, when are you guys planning on leaving? Oh, yeah, we don't plan on leaving. What? Right, right now. now. Oh, actually, Mordok, here. <laughs> leaving right gem now. No, here, Mordok. Gemstone. I'll give it to him. I was like, Mordok. Perfect. Uh, you're you the one in command in this town at the moment. So here's these gemstones for these villagers. Wait, I'm, I'm in command of this town? At the moment. I mean, you seem like a really... You have like, you know, <sighs> heads up though. There is no subtlety. And and I'm thinking of leaving this town for my to find Dropping guy. Uh, yes, so, you did tell me that. So, at first I w I did want to give this gemstone to my party, but this whole remember the whole shenanigan we can't find it. But now I find it. But then we all kind of agree that yeah, the villagers should have the gemstone. So. <laughs> Since you're kind in charge, I, I wasn't agreeing the that the villagers should have the gemstones, though. <laughs> I, I no, was saying that they would send it to us at a later date and sell it. <laughs> it was God's getting angry. It. It's it's Elvin, I'm going to say to Moto and Barnaby, <laughs> hold me back. <laughs> we are hold getting. Back. Okay, I pick him up with all <laughs> my way stronger than him strength. <laughs> Wait, does accept the gemstone or not? So, but um, if I give you the gemstone, Ferris, in time, huh? in time. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just really hard, <laughs> really hard. I now know how you feel. Moto. I'm like restraining myself from pulling up Mor my crossbow. <laughs> so, so what Mor Morak is doing? He's like, eh, lady, you've done plenty with all the silver and. Oh, what's this town called gold. again? Myrtle, Murder oh. Town. We can keep. I can keep the gems. Dark, just, my please, just hold, please just hold on to the gems. It might be helpful okay. for your. Okay, party. I keep the gems. I was like, okay, guys, I'll be holding the gems, and I'm thinking of selling them in the future. Use an all-out attack against. <laughs> Kikuro. All right, this great. Let's down. get out of here, please. Wait, wait. Okay, now's wait. our chance. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oh, um, wait. So you guys are already heading out already? <laughs> yeah, we we gotta get Maybe. going. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh. Let me get my, uh, well, guess what? Hey, Moto, Daphne and Ola are coming. Wink. I look yeah. very conflicted. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> you're, 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 you have that, like, ill face, but at the same time, you're just like, huh. <laughs> oh, and Moto Yasu, they're helping the selling up the goblin and getting my wagon. Do you want to go help them out? So, while you're saying that, the wagon's slowly starting to get to the bridge. Oh, okay. Way ahead of you. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, we're getting yep. ready. 
How yeah, about but... these bandits, though? Are they gonna stay here? Hear me out! I was actually gonna quickly say, hey, David, uh, are we gonna be... Do we... We'll meet with them we at the leave? town. Oh, they're We've gonna... we talked about this. Okay. Oh. Glad we got that figured you, out. You trust All right. them enough to Let's meet you Let's get going, guys. guys. Oh, I give a salute enemy. to my bandits. <laughs> I say one thing to the bandit. Good luck, buddy. She's a tough one. Uh, <laughs> I, I agree. I wish you luck. <laughs> so you guys are just leaving the bandits here? Oh, actually, I want to talk to the bandits. Well, from I, 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 t I, t I say to them, I'll meet you at uh, Brim Shander. So the, the bandits are going their own way to where we're heading. To Brim Shander? Oh, yeah. I, do okay. I heard that uh, for David saying that to them? I'm right next to you, yeah, so yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I talk to, and I talked to the bandit. That's like, uh, yeah. Well, actually, I, I, I want. Yeah. I know what you're trying to say to them. Uh, yeah. I'll just say that they'll they'll acknowledge you. Okay. Because I want to do another persuasion check. If you, I can. you don't have to. They okay. they know what you're doing. Okay. And I, and I'll give them. I say, I hope I see you guys again too. And then you know. Yeah. They'll they'll, they'll, uh, they'll wave bye to you guys. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 So are you guys gonna finally head out? Yes. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All Let's right. get out finally. We're, Let's we're leave done. Yeah, we're because... done with this town. This town. Congratulations, <laughs> you guys are now out of the prologue. Yay! I love how this episode was just. It was all just my town. You got it. We got the goblins. Look at this line. Wow! Cow. All right. So Jesus Christ, that's so far. Yeah, I told you this is gonna take about a month. Hell Jesus yeah! We'll make a stop at Waterdeep too. Um, so, a uh, very interesting thing, though, uh, you guys are going to notice. Uh, while you guys are about right here, mm -hmm. you just hear a sudden... <sighs> you guys look up, there's a giant shadow, like, above you guys. You, you see an enormous tower floating on a billowy cloud, about a thousand feet overhead. The tower looks like it's probably a hundred feet tall, and its spire looks strangely like a pointy wizard's hat. And as the uh -oh. as the tower slowly starts drifting closer, um, what do you call it? Alara and uh, Daphne are gonna start like really panicking a bit because it seems very familiar to them. Um, it's gonna drift closer, and as soon as it gets really close to you guys, stairs made out of clouds just form kind of underneath it and descend towards you. Oh. All right, Looks why can't like you we, do this? We're being Paris? summoned for an audience. You know, what do you mean? Why can't I do this? <laughs> that looks like magic stuff. Yeah, magic stuff. <laughs> yeah, what makes you think one person has enough power to do all that? <laughs> you know, it might Why be someone that's be? really that Look, has a really big power. For something Maybe they... like that, you would need some are you form telling... of like. Are you telling me he's challenging? No, no. <laughs> I won't say First, he's challenging you, but he's summoning us for an audience. I run yeah. up the stairs. Right. Uh, I better go after him. Before uh, he yeah, stupid. I'm gonna chase after the hotel. <laughs> All right, so you guys are just gonna run straight up. Um, with the um, with how the stairs are, uh, it's easy enough for the uh, wagon to get up there too. Oh, yeah, wow. sure. Huh. So it's not like a, it's not like a full on like um, it's not like a full on uh, staircase. Staircase. Like it's more ramp. like a ramp. Oh wow, wheelchair accessible. <laughs> nice. <Yeah>, wheelchair accessible. <laughs> what a thoughtful building. <laughs> Wait, right. so Daphne and. Uh, Alara I think was scared. wouldn't they be afraid? Yes. They're they're very afraid. <laughs> Wait, but why? Wait, we should we need to ask. Before. Because it was the they... background. That's what they saw before the rocks fell. Yeah. Oh. When we were interrogating the soldiers, they mentioned that they saw that, and that was oh, it. Oh, okay. So. All right, and then okay. uh, we can uh, leave it at that. Oh my god. <laughs> Will right. the heroes right. get ran over by whatever this is? Will, will the will that giant tower just fall on them and kill them and end their suffering? <laughs> and then all those gemstones are going to be distributed everywhere else. Can we even right, make right it back to Quentin Sand Sander? God. It's so far. Maybe. I don't think we can. Well, who knows? We'll have to see. Maybe this, maybe this nice castle will bring us there. Find out on the next exciting episode of Bad Ventures. Give me out. Okay. Oh <laughs> <laughs> All right. Help yeah. me. Uh, <laughs> thanks for uh, coming in, uh, everybody. Uh, definitely did not expect to stay in the town for a full day. For for a full 
time, but yeah, we're, we are officially out of the prologue now. Thank God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, this is gonna be a whole year. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, let's get this out of the way. Well, we didn't have you spend like 45 minutes distributing coins and debating. I was gonna say, <laughs> this would, episode was just... Out. So much sooner. Aqua doing shit. Uh, oh yeah. Um, oh, I, I, I knew this was gonna be my. I knew this was gonna be his talking. Yeah, this is. No. In the end, did we actually get the gems or not? Yeah, no, yeah. no, I have the gem. But he has the gems. With her. Yep. Yeah. He Aqua has again. the gems, so yes, we ended up leaving it. with. We have the, the gem. gems, but we don't have the gems. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you can we try to steal the gem without me noticing it. Uh, that's a possibility. But I have yeah. the gems. Yeah, like it it's whatever in my pocket, I guess. Or I bow, yeah, she bow, just has it on her on her person. Yeah, man, I didn't think you guys would uh, really care that much for those gems, but yeah, of course. I, I was, had to because this is character me, development. I literally just thought, hey, it would be a good way for us to <laughs> we could sell those, and that's our payment. <laughs> and Aqua's turning it. <laughs> Like, was it the the something much no, bigger, no, and I'm no, just like, no, it's no, just the pay this is for our work. Okay, guys, uh, have a good night. Oh, yeah, thanks, <laughs> thanks for <laughs> thanks for joining. He, he we'll see the what happens next on this next episode. <laughs> <laughs> good night. Good night. No, I was really going to sell the death.